Oh my god, I'm pressing the wrong button. Go! Are you Waluigi? <laughs> Is that what that was? Tis, uh, tis can see, but the audience can't. I just typed <laughs> gajillion ones in the agenda because that's oh, the did button. You really? <laughs> and I pressed the wrong keyboard. I had the other window up. But that's yeah, funny. welcome back. Welcome back, y'all. This is episode 168. It took us forever to get here, but we're back. We had a bunch of family, familial shenanigans. I got sick. To, uh... It sucked. <laughs> we're finding that there's a suspicious correlation between Tiz getting sick and visiting family. That's weird. <laughs> it's, a, it's sus. It's weird. To it say, is a little sus. It's sus, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, welcome back, y'all. We, we did a bunch of stuff, so... I'm not going to take up a whole bunch of time here at the beginning uh, with blathering. So you can email us at uh, siblingrivalryclash at gmail.com. And you can tweet at us at srclash underscore pod. And when um, when Elon Musk, you know, decides that that tweet's acceptable for his Twitter, uh, we'll get it. And then we'll, we'll respond. He'll we unshadow can. ban us. <laughs> but yeah, you should rate us wherever you listen. Because so, we're, we're going to be up on 200 episodes soon. So... We are feedback. That's a lot of episodes, yeah. Yeah, feedback within 200 episodes is probably a really big deal. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna show you. I have some accoutrement here because we're gonna discuss some culture and some. Uh, culture. We're gonna be just talking about a lot of art today because I, I watched a lot of art while we were gone. So, if it's you have a beverage, you may partake term. with me. Precarious term. Culture. No, all art. Calling oh, it art like yeah. that. Oh. Oof. <laughs> so if you guys don't know the weekend made a show um it's oh terrible my god so, please tell me you didn't watch that i did i've seen so many clips <laughs> no, and i'm like this i didn't watch dope. it i watched someone talk about it oh my god the weekend has to be the worst actor i've ever seen or it's a joke i love one of the other. i love his music the weekend no, i love his music look i'm gonna look directly in the Sounds camera like the weekend Jackson. i love you i will promote you constantly but you do too many drugs and when people do too many drugs, they start to lose track Touch of with what... reality. Yes. <laughs> and things that might seem cool to you when you're on so many drugs aren't so cool to everybody, everybody. else. <laughs> so just sharing that. But I still love The weekend. I knew it was downhill when I first seen like the first uh, picture of that him with that hairstyle, that slick back, <laughs> that su super slick back mini ponytail, whatever you call that, John. Because I'm crazy. like, I have, I have the same weird feelings about that um that uh next jordan peele piece that's about to come out here on netflix that uh they cloned tyrone i think it's called i hadn't even seen that and i think it has john boyega and jamie fox and a black chick whose name i'm not familiar with and it looks very uh somewhat psychedelic mm -hmm. somewhat black exploitation <laughs> vibes but yeah, I have I feel like it's going to be a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. We're going to experience something. But before we get into it this week, I just wanted to share some of my art <laughs> with the audience. So, uh for those who are wholly unfamiliar like most of the world, I watched a show. I've been watching a show called From, which ended this week. Season finale happened today, last night at midnight for season 2. And they had a the podcast I listened to had had a contest they had a contest i think in season one because there is a character in from that draws drawings mm -hmm. as a form of keeping records okay because he 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 has like this line that i absolutely love which is that the pictures remember that sounds so, <laughs> so he's yeah he's like i, like I he's like i draw things right after they happen so i don't forget them and he's and like I'm the sure pictures will always deaths, remember right lots of deaths he draws a lot lots of, of death. lots of child crayon death like <laughs> like little red squiggles under people's bodies that kind so the contest was to draw a scene from season two and this is gonna be a spoiler so tis close your eyes you're just gonna forget but i want to see no i'm just kidding so this is a scene from i drew from season two for it and they said artistic ability is not a part of the judging it's just like what scene you choose and the fact you had to use crayola crayons that's funny so, so i did use crayola crayons. that's really so funny the, this is my scene <laughs> okay and this is fatima and this is ellis 
Okay. And then this is Elgin. He's a new character Elgin. from season two. Okay. Right. And then this, these are the creatures oh. coming up from the background. Okay, when you learn, us. when you learn about them, you'll know how. Some why nice this scene is scary. Leaves. I see. Yeah. This is top. so. This is one of the trees. Okay. The trees also have some stuff going on in the show, so I felt it was important to include. Yeah, that tree looks and way then... different than the green tree. It looks a little creepy. <laughs> I don't know why. So I titled I titled my picture "We Don't Go Out After Dark," uh, because this scene made me panic because they don't go out after dark, and but the fact that yeah, well Ellis was bleeding to death. Oh God! So they had to they rush had no him choice. to yeah to Christy, and Christy lives in the town, and she's the only medic in the town. And this is the van over here. So this is Ellis and Fatima running to the van <laughs> oh as God. the creatures are approaching from the back. <laughs> From the house, <laughs> from and this is Colony House. I hope they don't run, the creatures. That is, <laughs> hope they're not you'll the running see. type. If you're curious about my image, maybe you'll take a look at the show. What did you? How from... did you? Did you scan it? How did you like submit it? Oh yeah, so I had to take a picture, and oh, then I had yeah. to email the picture, uh, and it had to be on an eight by eleven piece of paper, <laughs> like um... printer paper. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. So I drew it on printer paper. Actually, that was my second sketch. I had yeah. to start over. Oh no! But yeah, <laughs> so there's my artist submission for this week. Um, I'm up. terrible. Like, I hate crayons. To be honest with you, I am terrible at drawing. Like it's like you, there's no going back. You yeah. get a little too dark with a crayon. You can't even color over that yeah. crayon with another crayon. And they're, they're super so aggressive. They're super thick and imprecise. Like you can't get in the lines yeah. and stuff where you want to. Like you got to be yeah. super careful. So I'm like Draw I'm. Oily. I'm definitely more of a color pencil fan, oh, yeah. a marker fan. Absolutely. Any, any, uh, pass, give me pastels. Something give, with a point. Or not pastels. Give me oil. What are they called? Like the, the oil, pens. like the oil pastel things. You know what I'm talking about? They used not to come the ones in those that are shaped kits. like crayons, right? Yes. The ones that are cylinders and they, they feel like wet chalk. I think, I think they're I called oils. I know oils. what you're talking about. Oil pastels. Yeah, give me those. Yeah. I'll do those before crayons. Oil pastels. I used to mess around with some because our mom used to buy those random art kits that mm-hmm. just had every form of. Here's a here's eighteen crayons. Here's eighteen markers. Here's 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 a random set of watercolors. Here's five tubes of acrylic. Just cause <laughs> leftovers. Just cause. I mean, I used to get hyped when they would bust it out in class because it would be easy. It means we weren't <laughs> doing real work that day. <laughs> Just coloring oh in some goodness. lines or something, <laughs> <laughs> making a Thanksgiving picture. So yeah, that that's all I'm sharing. That's my weird thing that I did this week. That's funny. What about you? You gotta guys? hang that up though. <laughs> any 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 announcements? I'll hang it up. If this, the only reason I, if it wins, yeah, I'll put it up here on the wall. <laughs> the wall of fame. But I don't I don't think they have like a first, second, third. I think it's just straight up like somebody one, wins. Just one person. Yeah. Interesting. So we'll see. I don't know when they're gonna announce it either. So we'll get back to that. What size was your box of crayons? Uh you have the it was pack? more than a twelve. Oh. No. <laughs> it was breaking up. I wanna say it was like maybe three. maybe thirty, maybe twenty eight. Oh, okay. That's a that's a I had like pack. I had like red, but then I had like a scarlet. <laughs> I had like blue, but then I had like an indigo. <laughs> So I had like those secondary colors, you know. <laughs> that's all you need, though. Like that's kind of yeah. That's a good. Song. All I really, it was just really hard. This is really hard to make nighttime. Oh yeah, without making like it too unless dark, I'm right? just like black, yeah. black, and then if I did that, like you wouldn't be able to see anything. Yeah, like, you wouldn't be able to see the trees. I wouldn't have been able to. How am I supposed to do Crayon that? With it's hard. How am I supposed to do that? With... I had to think about the foreground. Yeah. Before I thought about the background. <laughs> And then coloring in the background makes your foreground look shitty. Because you can't because draw you're like, on top of the a color once you put a color. No, it makes like look it, at it this. It hard. Look at this right here by the tree. They like right? mix kind of. Yeah. So see how I'm like trying to color in the background and yeah. I'm like, <laughs> and it looks <laughs> shitty because I'm coloring around the you tree. You can tell like every direction that the crayon goes. <laughs> this is why Ty and I didn't like seriously pursue art because we would have been way too like judgmental of the process. We're like, oh, this yeah. is a shitty. We're way too logical. To just give me photo artists. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was just like. We're we're computer. too logical to be like the full like like sitting outside with a Sit sketch down pad and draw. That like, takes a lot too of much... pa- takes a lot of patience too. Like I don't. I tried to learn like how to draw and like I would be 
oh my god i can't wait until this is over like this is there's a forever. reason like it's a reason we work on computers jesus christ it's craziness but beyond all that silliness what did you get up to this week tips um so no crazy announcements but um there's only uh the one of the the games new games that just came out big new game that just came out um is the first thing i want to talk about final fantasy 16 yes uh i've been watching some videos of this yeah uh there's also a demo out too which is i noticed like a lot more games are putting demos out which like i want to applaud y'all for that because we need more demos um demos and... make me furious but go ahead how come <laughs> I, we'll talk about it because it pertains to my week also. But okay, okay. Question for you on this. Yeah. How you feel about them accents? How you liking them Brit- them super British Final Fantasy oh, accents? It reminds me. I mean, honestly, it reminds me of, like Game of Thrones. Like, okay, that's what it's, it feels like. It's going for. <laughs> it feels like it's super like Garden British. It's it like, is. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's very like proper, proper. Like yeah, a hundred percent. The Queen's the, the Queen's English. The King's English. <laughs> like. Coming off of like Gladio and you know Noctis yeah. like being pretty regular and oh, there's yeah. like pretty bro like they were like Amer- California not American but like yeah they were like had normal yeah. accents it wasn't like from except somewhere. for yeah like the the cooking guy had like a slight British accent like he had like a butler accent going on but yeah, yeah like this is new it this just, is that caught me off guard this is hard and i'm pr- i think they've been in this time period before it's just that there wasn't voice acting probably but this is like hard hard medieval like mm-hmm. knights and 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 wizards like hard like medieval that. like um, i like it but they i i think that's one good thing about it is that they really do kind of execute on it like the the voice actors are on point you know mm-hmm. like the scenes where like let's say somebody dies and somebody's like screaming or somebody's like doing the the anakin like i hate you type of moment you know what i mean like they really mm-hmm. sell those moments um in this game so it 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 does it comes off as like cheesy in the way that you would expect like a i don't know like a japanese show or a game to come off like like it's kind of got that anime ish vibe to it, but that it it's still like delivered really well if that like yeah. makes sense. Um, and this game is the first rated M Final Fantasy game ever, I believe. Okay. So there's a lot of blood. There's That's people exciting. get decapitated, people get sliced up, stabbed, set on fire. There's cursing. There's half nudity. There's like it's like they actually, gotta compete with these Souls games. Man. No, hundred percent. They're like going up, they're going all the way there with it. Um, which I kind of appreciate because, like, obviously, like, I'm older now, so, like, it's cool to get, like, actual mature-themed entertainment sometimes. Um, but honestly, I would probably say, like, out of, and I still haven't played Fallen or, what's that, Jedi Survivor yet, but out of the games mm-hmm. I've played so far this year, I think this probably has the best story. Um, and I'm I'm probably only, like, 10 hours in or something like that nothing okay. crazy so i'm still kind of in the earlier parts of the game um but it's it's a lot of cutscenes. um so <laughs> people who don't like cutscenes would probably be thrown off there's a lot like that was like the Metal reason Gear level that was the main reason i used to play final fantasy games because you liked or didn't for like cutscenes. Cut- so there's I a did. lot of cut- this like, is like oh, a movie just... like because i was watching and this is slightly off topic but i was watching um super no scary game squad yeah and they just uh, like gerard you know being on g4 yeah just offland handedly mentioned that people would text him all the time saying bring back cinematech do you remember cinematech no is that like a on g4 oh, no a so, cinematech was a 30 minute show where they just showed video game cutscenes. oh and really? this was before youtube so oh that was kind of like if you wanted to see a game in-game cutscenes, that was the one to watch. that was, was the like show, show to watch <laughs> yes That's funny so i'm um, like they would just i used to watch cinematech all the time as a person who never made it very far into those types of games yeah <laughs> no you would appreciate i'm like yeah i was a cut i'm a cut i'm a bit of a cut scene this is like it's not as bad as like metal gear solid 4 it's not like and like I, there hasn't been a, a singular 45 minute cutscene yet but probably <laughs> the longest cutscene i've seen has probably been like 15 maybe 20 minutes um Have you, maybe you not played 20, it. maybe like 15 minutes i would say i was gonna say you played a metal gear solid right yeah 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 okay and <laughs> so yeah it's it's that's what i'm saying it's comparable or even i don't get know your, was death stranding like that get your 
Bro, I fell asleep in a cutscene. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's never happened in my life. <laughs> I think it go. was like, I think we were going over an hour. And yeah. I was like. <laughs> oh my God. So. And it, see, and that's the other thing that when I started playing this game, it made me think of why don't games have rewind buttons yet? Like there's so it's many totally... times where I blink and I miss something. Like there was this one time, there was this really crucial thing happening in this game, Final <laughs> Fantasy 16. I like looked to the side or looked down at my phone for two seconds. I missed it. I missed the name they said that was like important. I had to force I close my game and reload the save. In before addition, the in addition to the skip that pops up, yeah, we need a, we need a back thirty. <laughs> <laughs> like, why is it so hard to? We've had rewind since VCRs. Like, why is it yes. so hard to rewind a cutscene? No, I was, that. I, I was thinking the other day. Like, I was playing some like Japanese games, and I was just like, I appreciate a dialogue log. Yeah, like being able to just go boop, yeah. see a log of the everything dialogue that I might not have been paying attention. Yep, no, a hundred percent. And yes, games that allow you to watch, rewatch a cutscene from mm. like a menu. <sighs> I love that. Just save them all. Just let me go. Yeah. Xenoblade is really good about that. Every single cutscene you ever see is in a, a I don't know what you would call it, like a compendium. That's all I need. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Every game, please start doing that. Um, even if you just got to record it and shove the file into the game, like do it, do it the janky way. I don't care. I just want access <laughs> to it without having to go on like YouTube. Um, but story wise, it's really good. The characters are very like parallel to FF seven. And so it's kind of like the game structure. Like it's not open world. It's like kind of separated maps that can be big or small okay. with like hallways and stuff. And it's got that classic, like, Oh, here's a, here's a map. Right. And here's a bunch of like jagged off offshoots and some might have treasure. So you should go down like every hallway you see type of thing. It's got that type of classic final fantasy square enix uh type of design to it but mm -hmm. um the main character is literally just cloud with black hair um cloud's still cooler though uh i don't know i, don't I know thought why, he, but... he looked like gladio to me who's glad like glad gladio is the big guy from five, oh from, from 15. 15 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah he's just this like uh black haired gruff like kind of emo doesn't talk a lot he's final fantasy guts yeah a little bit mad at the world carries a big sword um so i see they're trying to kind of oh who's the one of the favorite final fantasy characters let's do that again um but it's fine it i think it works well enough like he's he doesn't come off any different i would say than like cloud does uh i just don't think his designs as cool as cloud um but uh they do this one like negative i want to talk about is like you can tell where because this game's like it looks really good right um mm -hmm. but you can tell where they kind of took shortcuts to achieve certain things so like it's so it's it's funny and it's and it's funny if you played like final fantasy 14 or even like older final fantasy games that you can tell this is definitely like the same engine they just made it prettier a little bit because like so they're skippable cutscenes and dialogue and then there's unskippable cutscenes and all of the money went into the unskippable cutscenes which mm -hmm. makes sense right but it's so funny because you can tell when it's a skippable cutscene it does that like camera on you thing and the animations get like extremely stiff it looks like you're playing an MMO <laughs> Char when, like when characters turn they turn like this and then they, <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah and then uh but the unskippable ones they're all like fluid and it's like mm -hmm. all polished and high budget it's a movie yeah but it's just yeah. so funny because they try to seamlessly transition between the two but it's super yeah. obvious when it's like okay y'all cheaped out right here um but it's just funny but I could definitely see that getting in the way of some people's like it's not smooth like how it's not as like what's the word like fluid and stuff is like god award does. That feels very what you're describing feels very Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, and I'm yeah, always yeah, gonna 100%. I'm always gonna mention Kingdom Hearts in regards to Final Fantasy because that it's was square. my biggest Well, I'm like that's my biggest foray with Final Fantasy prior to playing fifteen. Yeah. Um but yeah, I'm like that that whole like, oh here's the Disney animated cutscene and yeah. Mickey's doing Yoda flips. Yep. But then here's the other cutscene where the characters don't talk. Yep. <laughs> and it's just and you gotta boxes. you gotta progress the dialogue and yep. yeah they just they kind of make turns and mm -hmm. an arm will raise yep. everyone's yeah and i kid you not every single square game that's in 3d 
is like that. That's why I think it's like all <laughs> the same engine because they all it is. like you can see like they have the same. And this is kind of what I love about this game too. They have like sound effects and stuff that I really love, like menu mm-hmm. pings and item pickup sounds and ding. And, and the dings i love All the chime effects. the chimes in final fantasy drive me insane you're gonna think of kingdom hearts and final fantasy and like immediately like it feels like one of their games for sure i'm just that, ignoring man. this till i get through seven i'm letting yeah. you know that now this no, game doesn't exist to me until it, i get further through seven it feels a lot <laughs> like seven to be honest like other than yeah the main difference i would say is like the combat is seven's like kind of actiony and like mostly responsive when you press the buttons this game is like devil may cry like it's like Devil May Cry, Witcher, and Final Fantasy had a baby. Like this is, that's like the best way I can describe this game. Yeah, I you're think, not wrong. In I think the, the bits DMC of gameplay. Dude, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say the bits of gameplay I saw that that's accurate. Description. Look like that. Yeah, I think the dude that did design Devil May Cry's combat designed this game's combat. Um, it's got the same kind of like feel where you're like doing combos and it's it's sparks flying off of stuff and and all that type of stuff so the combat is really fun um i do think it's really satisfying um and yeah i mean overall i think it's a really good game i think it probably will be in like the conversation for game of the year but i think it's probably it plays it really safe like it's very very polished and very well presented but it doesn't do anything like new and it Mm -hmm. doesn't like it's not like God of War. It doesn't have like climbing and puzzles. It's really just like a straightforward watch a cutscene, walk through an area, pick up some items, fight some enemies, another cutscene, walk through an area, pick up some. You know what I'm saying? It's like very I do, safe. I was going to say, I do feel like they wanted to expand upon like the fight mechanics of 15. It feels like but, they did, yeah. But not do anything new. I do, yeah. like, I honestly feel like that's what this game was going to be. So mm-hmm. I'm not disappointed in that aspect. Yeah. I'm not either. And I kind of being like a person that knows kind of how Final Fantasy is, it like really does stick to that underlying JRPG stuff, but it just it strips away more of the RPG and just focuses more on the action and the cinematics now is kind of mm-hmm. the main difference. Um like there's not a whole lot of and this is another thing that may turn some people off. It's not a whole lot of customization like you have like a sword, a belt and a and and, and some gloves and that's like Mm -hmm. and some rings and that's about it and none of it changes like your character's appearance other than the sword it's very like old school in that way um there's two potions for the whole game a regular potion and a high potion and there's i like i like simplified yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) no i agree i definitely agree um so i think if you're going to this game for like the the ambiance and the story and the combat you'd be happy um, but just don't expect like puzzle solving and some of the other stuff that Western uh, action RPGs would have because um, gotcha. it's still more, I would say, Japanese in that regard. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying that. I will probably update it on that in another point. And then the only other new thing I did, I watched the Black Clover movie that came to Netflix, The Sword of the this. Wizard King. Um, I saw this coming up on stuffs. No, it was great. So it's it's. I think it's one of those movies that doesn't really have anything to do with the main canon of the of the because it's just anime's it, favorite thing to do. Yeah, they're just like some months later after the incomplete season that you watch that doesn't even have an ending. We're just gonna skip ahead, act like it ended normally. Um, <laughs> but yeah, here's all your favorite characters, and they're here. They're fighting the the last Wizard King. <laughs> And he's got like four other wizard kings with him, so it's like us versus five wizard kings, and we got some cool animation, and it's dope. And we're That's gonna it. do that anime thing where the bad dude he steals other people's powers, so he's like using all the powers. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that like every One Piece movie? <laughs> Low key, and the My Hero, one of the My Hero movies, and um, I was trying to think, and Low key, kind of the Juju movie, because the dude has a bunch of different curses. Um, that I'll give I'll give I will let the juju that's a movie stretch. slide. It's a stretch. Because I only reason I let it slide is because that char- that main character in that movie I think highly pertains to why Gojo is the way that he is. Oh yeah, I think so too. And so that's the only reason I let that movie slide, especially considering that this next season appears to be a prequel, right? Yes. Yes. So to me, it's like it was kind of like feeding itself to get yeah. to this point. But anyway, I say all that to say most anime movies are bullshit in yeah, regards yeah, yeah. to the main the storyline setup. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. My it's... hero's been pretty good at doing that mm-hmm. too. 
I agree. Yeah. Um, but I'm not I'm not mad at it at all. Like it was the yeah. absolute best animation Black Clover has come <laughs> up with. Like you know what I mean. So and it, it was kind of that throughout the whole movie. So it was it was a fun movie. It's like you get to see all the characters you love from the show being them like the same way and it's like all nice and abbreviated in a nice little package and it comes to a conclusion and you don't gotta be like oh what's gonna happen next because it's unlike the main show this actually ended <laughs> conclusively yeah. Yeah. um so yeah it was it was cool it was like two hours long which is kind of it seems longer than most anime movies i feel like most anime movies are like hour 15 hour 30 Oh really? Max. I feel like they're about two hours. Really? Hour. Yeah. Maybe hour they're getting 40. longer now. I know all them old like DBZ movies used to be like. Because I feel like they're always gotta set up some new shit that has nothing to do, to do with the story. <laughs> yeah. And they spend like an hour setting up that new shit, trying to get you to care about it. So when they kill the person, you <laughs> feel sad. Like, you really don't. I'm not gonna lie. The new like the DB Super movie, the Brawly movie, like they've been getting better. Demon Slayer was kind of slow on the ramp up, but they've been getting better about like here's the characters, here's the bad guy, now they're fighting. Yeah, bro, <laughs> like, I was going to say super, minutes. Uh, DB Super Superhero was good in, for that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was that movie. That was I enjoyed it. Um, can't wait for Black Clover. Hopefully it does actually come back one day, but it's probably going to get treated like Hunter Hunter, and we're never going to see it again. Shut up! Yeah. <sighs> They're making Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Like, the manga is making it, like, moving. He just put out an old photo of the corner of some pages to, like, shut everybody up. He's like, all right. That will, is not this true. This will get him off my case. I'm going to post. <laughs> <laughs> that Hasn't is not touched true. a pen in years. <laughs> there, there, there's actual new issues coming out. Oh, for real? Yes, there are mm. new chapters coming out. That's good. So That's good. I understand their hesitance in not wanting to move into the Dark Continent until there's some more uh source material there can we just start doing can we just why is good filler not a thing no seriously <laughs> we should have just named this podcast why won't you finish my anime <laughs> no but why why is good filler not a thing uh because why can't we do original content that's actually good that has nothing to do with the i don't know that to me that's like saying why aren't soap operas better than they are <laughs> Cause is it because it's so you have to make one them. every day? That's not true. No, I know. Our uncle, I was gonna say, our uncle just told me he's like, I watch soap operas now that I'm retired. And I'm like, <laughs> that's just boredom. That's out of boredom. But I was like, even when I was that's off in choice. the daytime, I wa I just went back to watching like Nickelodeon. I didn't like. I didn't adapt to watching adult daytime yeah, television. That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> I just watched. I just went. I like reverted to watching child. That's what I would television. do. That's exactly what I would do. And watching those soap operas. What do I look but like? But yeah, so he's like caught up in this. So I'm like, they they're still getting new viewers. That's all I'm saying. People who never watched in their life are retiring and watching. I bet you operas. there's some weird formula behind it, like how they trick you into stumbling upon the channel and then but get, we... just leaving it on. I think we neglect uh, kind of like I guess the best example of it is probably SpongeBob. Mm -hmm. But we I think we neglect how much like super popular anime is a merchandising vessel. Oh yeah, 100%. Over there. So, I think that cheapens a lot of <laughs> They hold when... Pokemon games till the anime is ready cuz they know they'll sell more. Oh, that I understand. <laughs> like... That's that's hand in hand. <laughs> yeah forever yeah i know they over there selling demon slayer merch and whatever attack on titan to merch. the end of time <laughs> together forever i be singing that song when Pokemon i go to the bathroom jams. that's forever in the you know what i always wondered why they don't put those songs in the games that would be fire Imagine I turn on my game. Yo, and it's just, no, I wanna you're be the very best. No, be I so want fire. that. I want the words to cut in like like persona. Mid battle, Mid -battle when it's fire. like the heated third quarter of the battle, and then fire. you just hear ding 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 ding. That would be fire. To catch them is my real test. You'd be like, saying, oh. like that would give me so hype. <laughs> don't they own both? Why don't y'all do that? Y'all dropping them. No, <laughs> see, you go that route. I want the route of I have to have an emotional goodbye to one of my pokemon in game where it's like it like i go to release it and it turns it goes to a cut scene <laughs> and, you're and like it's like at it, it's like... like my character kneeling down in front of the pokemon like tear shedding <laughs> like 
Like, <laughs> like when Ash let go of his Butterfree? And he had yes, to say goodbye that to I his want Butterfree. More, <laughs> more crossover. <laughs> no, I agree. More similar. So yeah, I push. I push for yours. If you push for mine. Yeah, they're missing something super obvious here. I don't know why they don't do that. It doesn't make sense why they don't do it. They I want you can take it. like photos as they run off into the grass. <laughs> Maybe you come back to that spot. They they visit you. They're growing you know? up. They got little 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 babies with them. Little baby mons with them. Oh my god! Realism. Yeah, I saw something called on uh, Netflix called Pokemon Concierge. Concierge. I'm wondering what, that what that's gonna be. They got a Pokemon TV on Samsung TV. No. Yeah, that I can get. On? There's Pokemon enough TV on something. There's enough Pokemon episodes that you can have a Pokemon channel. Oh, I yeah. get that. And I think they just show like trailers and like just well, random you, Pokemon stuff. If you can have a One Piece channel, I get. But if you have a Sailor Moon channel, you can have a Pokemon channel. Yeah, for sure. hundred percent. For sure. There's enough. There's yeah. thousands of Pokemon episodes out at this point. <laughs> Literally. If you count all the seasons. And then, yeah, we'll talk, I'm sure we'll talk about later in the Nintendo Direct about T- Detective Pikachu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming um, back. After a long but time. Yeah. But yeah, that was my week. Uh, So sure I'll briefly jump into my week. I'll start with From, just because I had already kind of talked about that. But yeah, season two ended. Um, Man, I'm just going to briefly say I feel like season two was set up for something. <clears throat> and I'm scared. I'm I'm truly scared now. I'm scared. That's all I want to say. I'm scared. Um, I'm scared, but I really. There were some excellent performances this season. I will definitely say That's that. Good. There, there was literally a scene where I'm like, look at these people just trying to get their Emmy. Look at them. I'm like, look at them pushing for that Emmy. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, uh, Harold Perino. I now know his name. The black guy from Lost. Uh, he does he did a great job. He does a great job as the lead share is the sheriff in this town. Okay. Um, he does oh, a that's really that good, dude. Okay. In the cover, he does a really good job of like helping you understand the pressure he's under, but also he doesn't. He questions himself as much as everyone else questions everything. Like he's not just saying like, "Oh, I'm the person in charge, so therefore I know everything I say is right," and blah blah blah. I just gotta go with it. Like no. Like, this episode, he was yelling at God. And I was like, yes, yell at God. <laughs> I was like, figure this shit out. Why did it's you confusing. Do this to us? He was, he said, if you are more than just, he was like, if you are anything more than a, than a fairy tale or a, a made up story, he was oh, like, God. I need you to answer. He was yelling at the cross. He said, I need you to answer me right now. I said, get him. That's some audacity. That's some audacity. <laughs> I was waiting. I was, I was holding everything. I was like, is he going to? Yeah. I was like, is lightning gonna strike him? What's gonna happen? So monster burst through the window at that moment. It, this is a show that I really appreciate the way it, it it truly does call itself out. The show calls itself out constantly, and so that's why like I see the tropes, the drama tropes of like people people in a in a troubled situation. You know, they don't really have answers. They're confused. People are scared. I see those walking dead tropes in there, mm-hmm. but I also see them sometimes trying to avert it, sometimes trying to make it better. And when I say make it better and avert it, I mean, in the sense that they'll call themselves out, you know, characters that straight up say like, is this a dream? Are we dead? Is this a simulation? So yes. they're pressing up against all those walls that, I feel like shows tend to shy away from because that's usually what the answer is. So right. I'll be very curious to see if we get another season, what any of this actually means. The interesting thing to me is always like, is it possible for it to be something someone hasn't thought of yet? Or have but we thought of the only way to options? find that out <laughs> is to get to the end. <laughs> yeah. And that's why I always push. I'm like, just get to the end. No, yeah, I'm like, sure. then I'll know then we'll have an answer and we won't have to I'd rather uh, things like, have bad endings than no endings. 100%. Exactly. Like Exactly. Um so yeah. Uh yeah, I pr- I heavily promote that still. If you have not seen it, check it out and god, please don't let the writer strike. Oh, no no. In the show. Yeah. You selfish assholes. 
You guys already get to do what you want for a living. And y'all make Just a lot of money doing it already. take the money. It's a lot Just of money already. It's not like it's jump change. <laughs> They'll argue that it's not. No, it's but that's more. what you get. Look, that's what you get for trying to live in California. You need to live in Kansas and yeah. be emailing your scripts. No, 100%. You can live like a king in Kansas off California salary. 100%. Easy. Easy. But anyway, all that aside, I did pick up... Finally, thanks to Tiz, I got a hold of a copy of the game Snatcher, which to me is like the brother of uh, Police Knots, <laughs> which is another game that I champion. And man, I started playing this game a little bit and holy heck, does this character feel very similar to the dude from Police Knots. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> immediately like it, it's a it's a point and click cursor type situation so it's like of course immediately it's like we're in a space station uh information booth girl at information booth immediately og ogling girls titties at, uh, at information booth. oh my god <laughs> immediately Wait, so i'm like called snatcher no oh. <laughs> snatchers are like some type of like ai entity okay. in the universe that does i haven't quite figured it okay, out yet okay, but it okay. does some they're scary people don't like snatchers got you um but yeah so that character acts just like the dude i forget his name from police knots but it has that noir space noir like detective kind of like 80s vibe going on immediately from the beginning so got you. i will definitely be digging into that further um and then the l the last thing i wanted to talk about was uh I played a game, a demo. And this is why I say I hate demos. Uh, I played a <laughs> demo for the game Death Trash on okay. Steam. I remember seeing that at one of the events a couple years and ago. And all I want to say about this game, because I was thinking about this earlier, is like it fits. It's feeding my need right now for like high levels of like open and exploration. I feel like I'm like getting around, but low levels of like systems management hmm. so like i don't play there's certain games i don't play because i'm like i just know there's whole aspects of the game that i'm never gonna touch I like agree. I i'm that. never gonna be doing like supplemental missions to like get minor stats up on pieces of equipment yeah. i don't care about that Superman shit. that's Max. just not yeah. i don't pvp i feel like that's a pvp thing like people care you want to get like as, you want to get your stats Yes, yeah, so that yeah. you that person that may have that stat that's slightly close to yours, no, I don't that give a shit. That's win. why I play. Yeah. That's why I play against the AI because I want to. I just want to play the game. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. be thinking about that. <laughs> so this game kind of feeds my need for like rogue like uh, exploration, hmm. but it it's got <clears throat> low low kind of systems management, but it's got interesting story, um, and it's got pretty. I would say, like mid level character customization of like designing your character and then picking their skill sets and then mm. i've only i'm less than an hour probably into the game and i've already reached somebody that let, allows me to reset my skills for money okay so it seems to be a little bit loose in that sense of like oh, okay i chose uh i chose like the charisma skill i gave that one extra point when i really should have gave that extra point to lock picking mm -hmm. okay i can probably go to the sky and get it fixed type of thing okay but yeah, not I don't know too much about the world yet. I just know this demo it said was like it's like the first one to two hours of the early access game, and it's one of those demos where you're just playing the game and they Is just it still early you. access. I think so. It's yeah, been like two years. Jesus Christ. It's Steam, man. I just <laughs> learned to like it's early access until it's not forever. Sometimes <laughs> there's no like Slay the Spire was early access for like ninety percent of the time I played it. I believe it. Star so. Citizen's been early access, I think, for what eleven years now, or more. I'm so serious. <laughs> I believe it. Like eleven. So years. I'm like, because I was like the same with Backpack Hero that I told you about. I was looking at. I'm pretty sure that's still in early access. So. Yeah, I remember you telling me that. But um, very briefly, I'll go over some things that are not anime that I did over this time just to give some brief feedback because I did take notes. I was smart. <laughs> It's two weeks is a long time, guys. Yeah. So I'll save Demon Slayer for anime. But Marvel. I saw a Marvel trailer. It got me back into caring about oh, yeah. Marvel. I told you about this, Tiz. Craven. 
The Hunter. Craven. The Hunter. Um, I really like this trailer. I totally like the Villain idea of like. Their maid. What, what's the tagline? Villain. Isn't that the tagline? What? Is that what it said? It said I saw something like that on the post. Like, villains aren't born their maid or something. Oh like my that. God. So, Russell Crowe being this dude's dad and being like, you got to shoot a lion in the face of your, your weak, like your mother. <laughs> like, what the like fuck? This dude got mauled by a lion in the trailer. He's a kid. And he got oh mauled by a lion. And the kid, he's like, run. While the lion's mauling him, his dad just like leave him. He's weak like his mother. I said, "Oh, oh my shit. god, that was one of his kids." You just yes, let him get that sucks. this was Craven. Oh, that's so his then they origin. show they show in the trailer a drop of the lion blood falls into his wound, <laughs> coagulates with his his oh DNA my god, and shit. What? So then he gets the I guess he gets Stop. like the high senses and yeah. reflexes of the lion. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I always thought he was a normal human. I had no idea he was like so, part animal. Well, that's the thing too. Like, I'm wondering, like, okay, is this is this mysticism Marvel? Because yeah. it's like he just genetically has some ability to, that allows him to take in animal. Blood. I don't know anything about Craven. Or, or is this Marvel science where like he's actually the result of some experiment that made his blood susceptible to this? I think Marvel because, likes to go either route. I think specifically because he's a Spider-Man villain, it's probably going to be Marvel science because all most Spider-Man okay. stuff is like, I mean, what do you well, count aliens as? Well, that's see, and what... you're saying they're not pitching him straight as a villain either. Oh, he's a villain. They're not. Unless they're they pitching. Them. They are truly. They're pitching him more. It feels like as an assassin. Yeah, like he's like the hero killer. He's like staying okay. hero hero killer. Oh, okay. Kind of. I don't know. I don't. I don't know his motivations, but I'm saying his like outward like. But it, I'm here he's to murder not, you heroes. Like that's kind of thing. At least in the movie, at least in the trailer, he's not pitched as evil. At least his his I think origin. Just a yeah, I like think he's like he's just pitched like, as a dude a who's like getting by on his skills. Yeah. And he just happens to be in like this like black market type. Yeah black world air like you know he's dealing with those types of people they're they're his prey but yeah most excited because uh this is a marvel recycle this is quicksilver like i was i kept the like actress. seeing hints yes okay i kept seeing hints of his face this is a uh aaron taylor johnson is his name but i kept the seeing like over the younger one remember there's two quicksilvers when in marvel oh i'm sorry Age of Ultron, Quicksilver. Okay, gotcha. Not because see, I still don't Scarlet really count X Men. Quicksilver is a different X Men because that yeah, yeah that X that Quicksilver doesn't hang out cool. with Scarlet Witch. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So that I'm saying that that's Quicksilver that died in Age of Ultron. Got you. Got you. Alan Taylor, Taylor Johnson. He gets. He was also in Bullet Train, mm. but yeah, he is. They came back. He's a good actor, and mm -hmm. so that's why I'm really excited because I feel like he gets looked over a lot. Um, and then I rewatched Spider Verse One. I did had not like really paid attention to that. That movie is it's, it's just slamming. Like it's the music is too good. Yeah, the music, jokes I, are too good. The art, like Peter, that is probably my best uh, or my favorite rendition of Peter Parker. Really, is that that Peter? Is a good, yes, is a good Peter. I like him. Not. Lot. Not just the like beat down rundown version that well, we get, but the, the pep up. Well, no, the initial, the blonde Peter. Oh, oh okay. Because <laughs> he's like, he, he looks at him, he's like, I was blonde. <laughs> like, I was like, I like that perfect Peter. Yeah. Because that's the Peter you meet when uh, Miles first meets him, right? Mm -hmm. In the, when he literally sees Kingpin like kill him. Mm -hmm. Um, That's the Peter that Miles originally meets, the one that everyone's like looks up to, all that kind of stuff. But yeah. then, yeah, you get the haggard, like, rundown. everything didn't go so right, yeah, Peter. Yeah. I like, I really like that. And, Along those lines, feeding into that, I kind of watched that to get me feeling better about the Clone High reboot because mm. this is also Lord and Miller that did the Clone High reboot. Oh wow! Um, before they did, That's they crazy. did Clone High before Spider Verse. Wow. Um, twenty <laughs> fifteen That's a something crazy years. Crazy jump. Yeah. They've been doing stuff. They've done a lot of stuff in between. Okay. Um, stuff that we like. So nice. they, it's just smaller. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so feeding going from Spider Verse into the Clone High reboot. Like, cause there is a Clone High reference in the first Spider Verse movie. That's um, I didn't know that. I really, 
I actually enjoyed it. I didn't hate the reboot so much. There are there are some character things that they're going like a little two dimensional with. Like they're making JFK like super dumb. And he was dumb in the original series, but he had a little bit more depth to him. Now he's just like chasing plastic bags around, like getting distracted by birds. He's yeah. totally like falling into like the uber dumb Chad. Yeah. Um But I do like how like so the original kind of storyline was like we froze all these historical figures um for some reason in the original show we didn't know why they had introduced this cloning program mm. but they had cloned all these um life-changing historical figures and basically gave them as babies to regular people in a town right and so that's why the clo- the show was called clone high usa because it was about this town of people that were raising like joan of arc and yeah. abraham lincoln and jfk and cleopatra and so the spin that they put on this new reboot, which is like they literally start from the scene that it cliffhangers on. That's funny. that I appreciated. They they cool. unthaw the characters. Yeah. Um, and the the they go right into the boardroom of the the they call them the board of shadowy figures. <laughs> Cause it's literally a room of people we can't see. Yeah. They're just silhouettes. <laughs> But the board of shadowy figures finally comes out and said they they the reason they did this program was to they're like all the world leaders are going to shit, mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna reclone the good ones and try this again. Oh wow! Okay. So they're basically saying it's like this is our attempt at like bringing like good world leaders back into power. So we have to we have to monitor them and make sure they grow up okay. Got you. So beyond that, the second kind of thing is they introduce okay. We froze you guys in 2003, but then we also unfroze some people in 2007. So you have this new class of newer historical figures like Confucius and Frida Pinto and Harriet Tubman. That's funny. (laughs) (laughs) Who are characters that they're introducing uh, into this new season. So you have like a little splash of some new characters mixed with the old characters like Was- George Washington Carver mm-hmm. and uh, Mary Curie and all the weirdos that we love. Um, <laughs> That's funny. And so I just brought this up to add to, I didn't know the original Clone High got canceled because um, <laughs> people, India, citizens of India did not appreciate the portrayal of Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, Mah- Mahatma Gandhi? Yeah. Can't, I, I always say his name right. Mahatma Gandhi. But they did not like the the representation of Gandhi. Gandhi was a great character, in my opinion. I didn't find him offensive, but I can understand if people did. But yeah, he had ADHD in the show. Mm-hmm. I used to like bust in the Tiz's room in high school all the time saying, Gandhi had ADD. Gandhi had ADD. You get it from <laughs> toilet seats. He's a protective sheet. Bro, 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 bro. Because there's a Sounds musical episode. Familiar. There was a musical episode about ADD yeah. and uh, Jack Black was the main because MTV back in the day, they had to have a musical star every yeah. episode. So Jack Black was like the star for that episode. That's funny. And he was the pusher man. And yeah. He was pushing. People were smoking raisins in that episode. <laughs> raisins? So weird. What? So weird. <laughs> That's mad right but now. anyway, Gandhi had ADHD. I think that was kind of like the offensive portrayal is that he was just weird and spastic all the time. Um and uh they just ain't like him in in modern clothes (laughs) maybe he just wore a t-shirt and jeans he didn't even wear offensive clothes but yeah so (laughs) there was a hunger strike in india that caused the original um cancellation of the original clone high Mm. they froze all the characters in show in a freezer at prom and now they've unfrozen them and they literally do a musical in the show to explain everything that's happened in the in last between. 20 years that they've missed. <laughs> yeah. So they they do all that to say they do a really good job I think of bringing it back and yeah. acknowledging that how they they hyper acknowledge how much time has passed. Oh yeah. Um so and I really appreciate that. So Those little I'm touches. not as afraid to watch it. As, as you might have been. Is it the same yes. voice actors? Or it seems to be. I hear JFK sounds a little different. Okay. Um, Joan sounds the same. Uh Abe sounds a tiny bit different, but could possibly be the same dude. Okay. But yeah, for the most part, everybody pretty much sounds the same. That's good. That's always good. I, I laughed it because they had a they had a they had a 
area of the cafeteria that had canceled character. <laughs> Uh, and Mar- Marilyn Manson was uh, one of the canceled characters. That's funny. <laughs> and I was like, even in all our wokeness, uh, Marilyn Manson is now offensive. Canceled, yeah. Um, but yeah, so got that. We got Marvel. We got Spider Verse. We got Clone High. Uh, thrown in there. Still playing through Resident Evil. The Red Nine. When you upgrade that gun, that pistol, that is the stupidest, strongest gun in. Call the it game. the Red Nine run. I think this is a red nine run. Red nine run. Because I, I, I just, like, two shots, pop, pop, dead. Oh, dang. Easy. Lo- love it. Sheesh. And then, yeah, the rest of the news I will save for the rest of the show. Wait, did you you did you did beat it the first run, or did you start over, yes. like, mid-run? Okay. No, I, I beat it. Okay. Because I wanted to get the full experience and know yeah. what I was going into before I tried it again. Yeah. So you But fought, I'm not playing on Hard Moon yet. You fought that boss that's, like, uh, alien. The one that lurks through the vents in the air ducts and stuff. Yes. With you like talking the, about the one that has like a the white human vision. face? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know he was in the game. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought I the Gar- I, was like, wow. I thought the Garridors were the worst thing in That's the what game. I thought. So I'm like, how is there this much game past the the Garridors that I don't remember? <laughs> oh, I probably just never played that far. <laughs> I never, I didn't beat the Garridors. That's why. That was the scariest thing in the game. I was done. Yeah, it's like I kept seeing clips online. I'm like, is this, is this, was this in the old RE4? I'm like, I don't yes. remember any of this. No, I didn't get, because <laughs> I'm like, I didn't know there was like giant bugs and stuff. Yeah, I, I got that part. I didn't know anything past the um, escorting, what's her name, Maria? The president's daughter when you got to oh, her all around the castle yeah i don't remember anything i i have a feeling i'll have a similar experience as i make my way through dead space <laughs> for real because i still not 100 percent sure i played that game my thing with dead space is it's all in the spaceship right so it's like it doesn't do the different environments thing like re4 does like you're not going from mm-hmm. caves to s- snowy areas to cities you definitely do in two I know in two, but just one. One, you're just on the spaceship. Okay, so like, I don't. I I'll let you know. Yeah, because I, I don't. I just have no experience. I don't remember. It's like my memory of it is just like a brown hallway. You know what I'm saying? Because that's it's like I was gonna say my together. memory of it is just like dark, dark blue, shiny, like knobs and yeah. like doorways going yeah. v- v- yep. and like branching and like pathways. Every once in a while, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. all jittery and twitchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, yeah, I do remember it being like narrow. That's yes, it. yeah. They like to trap you in those narrow hallways <laughs> while yeah. something's crawling at you on the ceiling. Something weird. Uh, who? That was pretty much it for your week. Yeah. And would you like to get to some news? Word. Yeah. Had a nice little showcase. <laughs> I think I wrote down two things from this direct. Yeah. I I'm just now realizing that everybody's kind of well, there's summer games fest, but then also people are just doing their own things now. Like E3 is I don't think coming back probably. Like mm-hmm. it's just, so I, when I saw Nintendo Direct, I'm thinking it's going to be small, but then when I actually saw it, I'm like, "Oh, yeah, it's the summer one. This is probably the E3 one with the E3 one it used to be." But which it um, still didn't feel like a fat daddy. No, it wasn't crazy. Even if it was that one. Yeah. Um, of course, they. Did, I'm going to get it out of the way early. They uh, did not announce Wind Waker or Twilight Princess remakes, of course. I don't know why I still hold out hope at all at this point. Um, they're going to wait until literally the console is about to die, and then they're going to put those out to try and get some last-minute sales before they finally announce a Switch 2. I'm calling do you think they're trying to do a cart like Mario? Like the three-in-one cart? <laughs> if they did... My God, that thing would be or, worth so much money. I'd buy five of them. Question. This just came to my mind. Yeah. Do you know how there's like, is there like five games in the Wind Waker? Huh? Art oh, style? The, three, there's I thought. Wind Waker. There's Spirit Tracks. Spirit, Spirit Tracks. There's Phantom, Phantom Hourglass. Hourglass. I think that's it. There's oh, Minish Four Cap. Swords. Four Swords Adventure. I think. And Minish Cap. Yeah. Do you think they're trying to collect all of those? No, I don't think. Into well, a... I don't think Four Swords is coming out ever again. Minish Cap <laughs> is going to come to the virtual thing. 
the Nintendo Online GBA Virtual Console. Mm -hmm. Um, what was the other ones we named? Oh, Phantom Hourglass, Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit and Tracks. Spirit I Tracks. don't think can work off of the 3DS. Okay. Like we have, we don't see any 3DS Be besides Etrian Odyssey is the first I think ever 3DS game I've seen get ported. And mm -hmm. the people were saying the controls for it were bad because they the way they implemented the you're supposed to like draw the map in that game with the stylus. It's so hard to play on controller. You know what I'm saying? So yes. I heard a lot of complaints about that. So I don't know that they'll bring the DS one. So I think they're gonna sell both games, Wind Waker. It's gonna be Wind Waker. It's gonna be like for the Switch, it's not gonna be the Wii U versions. It's gonna be mm -hmm. Wind Waker and Twilight Princess separately, each sixty dollars. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking I, is most. I need those updated controls. That's yeah. a, that's what I really need. A hundred percent. I agree. Um, but yeah, I I, I think it's going to be like and probably an up res version of the Wii U ones or something like that, and they'll like make add some Switch bonuses or whatever to it, and then they'll sell it for sixty dollars. Uh, sell them both <laughs> for sixty dollars. I think that's definitely what's happening. Because um, I never, I started in my GameCube, uh copy of wind waker i started collecting because you can use the in-game camera how do you play with the inverted controls in that game my god i played a lot of flying games growing up <laughs> and it doesn't bother me to switch back and forth i picked up the gamecube version once a couple years ago and i was like you just gotta think I you can't. gotta just or you gotta <laughs> orient yourself you gotta think like okay pull back push up right oh my and then if it's opposite, you got to think about it like the lever on the back of the head. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> you just got for me. It's like once you sit because I'm like, I played it originally. Right. So I did it at some point. I played yeah. it on GameCube. But I was saying that to say that there, once you get you get a camera in the game to take pictures mm -hmm. of stuff. And then you there's a guy on an island somewhere who will make figures of the people you take pictures of okay and he makes these color like shiny glass figures that you can display in game and i'm like that's the one part of the game that i always like i started to do it yeah but it's like that game is once you get to the end you're so over it i don't that do you're stuff like, like that in any game i'm not taking I'm a, pictures for fun <laughs> well i'm just like it's it's the fact that you can take a picture and he makes you a, a figure of it yeah that and it's cool. like a whole separate thing yeah like so i'm like job. that that's the part of that game that i'm like please don't get rid of that part of oh, the I'm game. sure I doubt they would. They they tend to keep I think I think Nintendo does a good job of of keeping their remakes. You know, like how But they, they were. always complain about that Triforce quest too. Well, they did fix that in the Wii U version. So, okay. um, if they do base this this version on the Wii U version, I'm assuming that'll still be have the quality of life fix or whatever. Okay. Or sh I think they just made it shorter or made it easier to find the pieces or something like that. I forget <laughs> what exactly they did, but um, they didn't change it so drastically that it's like a different like you're still looking for Triforce pieces you know what I mean I played that game without a guide all the way up until that part and then just and that whole part was like pages page couple page. pages guide 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 <laughs> check off ridiculous. check off because didn't you have to like play the the wind song or something and then it would like point in a general direction and then you had to just like go in that direction and then, and then there was, there was one like, that only appeared during a certain like moon cycle. Top, yeah, I think because you had to get like a ghost ship to appear. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's yeah. and it, none of that is like it's all like Told going around all. talking to people. Yeah, getting hints yeah. of things. Yeah, yeah. So that hopefully that that is fixed. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and go down this list of games. Mm -hmm. Um, and we'll stop on the ones that are important. So. Um, they talked about the Pokemon DLCs. They just kind of showed a gameplay trailer, um, but didn't really give a whole lot of detail. Um, a new Sonic game called Sonic Superstars. I think they're kind of going after the Sonic Mania type of type of recreation vibe. Um, a new uh, simulation style game called Palia, which I think is kind of like um, sort of like Animal Crossing or like games of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, Persona Five Tactica, which is a tactics game like final fantasy tactics and the persona world yes just um, put persona 5 art and characters in, in every genre do <laughs> yeah. it but, i was um, just thinking about scramble this morning i was just thinking about i don't know if you saw i didn't really 
we didn't talk about this showcase because there wasn't as much stuff but the playstation showcase had the persona 3 in the persona 5 style they're remaking 3 in in the 5 art style um I, so I, I just think that's really cool oh my gosh you just remind me of a playstation game that we need to talk about but go ahead I'm okay write it down keep it in mind um super mario rpg re- remake which i know a lot of people are are hype about um i'm probably gonna play this because i actually downloaded um super mario rpg on my on my 3ds why did they make the characters look so midget and chibi. <laughs> yeah, i, <know. laughs> the art I was like okay i like the up res that you just did but why did you make them so squat <laughs> i guess <laughs> like mario's it, like <laughs> i guess it, it's kind of because like you look at the sprites and the, the old perspective game, yeah and yeah kind of like but I thought that was just because the hardware was old. I, don't right. think it was like I thought it was the perspective. Thing. They were like, it was like a weird down. top down, yeah. like diagonal. I thought that's why they were like, Yeah. But it's like they're trying to preserve it in this. Um, it's so weird. It's funny looking. They're all like dwarfy. <laughs> what? Mario's like angry, but he's even shorter and smaller. <laughs> yeah. The only one that looks like proportioned is like Bowser, just because he's bigger, but he's still like <laughs> tiny. <laughs> compared to everything else and nobody uh, talk. everybody has like zelda nobody talks yeah just... yeah yeah. that's the one thing about the remakes is going from like voice actor games to text again is always rough i'm not gonna lie it's always super rough um this game called myth force that looked pretty cool it had like a i don't even know how you describe this like a 2d hand-drawn not even hand-drawn like a microsoft like paint type of drawn art style <laughs> like in a 3d environment though Mm-hmm. Um, it looked like a four player kind of co-op shooter knights and knights and bows though not guns um, and magic and then um, next up Splatoon 3 uh, they just talked about the Splatfest Detective Pikachu 2 they showed a trailer for that um, I think the, the first Detective Pikachu was way back on the 3DS or is it the regular DS one of them um, the voice they've picked for Pikachu is just wild it's funny how they keep going for these like deep man <laughs> voices. Straight up adult, yeah. like white man voice. Um, so yeah, that's funny. Um so I imagine we're getting another Detective Pikachu movie at some point. Um I feel like it's probably that's most likely happening. Uh, but they didn't show any real gameplay, they just kinda showed the art style and the and like a cinematic. Um a new unnamed Princess Peach game is coming I out. Finally, and Princess Peach is back in her her skirts. I don't need her in her pants. Solo adventure. Thank you, movie. She can float again. Thank you. Can't float in her <clears throat> pants. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Her powers come from her dress. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing this is gonna be like a sort of like Super Princess Peach was back in the day, but just a modern yeah. version. Um, Batman. I had that game. You had that game. Mm-hmm. Um, I probably have it in the bag of GPA games for over real? there. <laughs> Um, Batman Arkham Trilogy coming to Switch in super low resolution. Batman um, swiftly becoming the next Skyrim. Just <laughs> porting it to everything. Oh, yeah. Going to be porting it to fridges soon. Is Arkham Knight a part of this, actually? The newest one? Or it's the it... trilogy. I guess that is. Yeah, I guess. I'm like, how'd they get that <laughs> That's running like, on Switch? That's I'll be crazy. playing that on my LG fridge soon. <laughs> how do they get that working? Um, Dragon Quest Monsters, which is like a Dragon Quest Pokemon monster battle type of game. Seems mm-hmm. kind of cool. I might check that out. I was curious about this. Yeah. I like anything with dark in the title. <laughs> yeah, the Dark Prince. <laughs> but yeah. it's traditionally a, a, a non-dark title. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that, that right, could be ready? pretty cool. And then the big one. You got drum roll or something? I'm ready. Good. <laughs> Pikmin 4. <laughs> nice pick let's go and they showed real gameplay I always that? love to you see, see that right gameplay. there night pikmin yeah but um, no here's my thing so yeah. i immediately just drawing parallels immediately to what to what's god damn i forget the name now what's like goddamn game with the um army men army no man hold 4? on no 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 hold on what is the goddamn zombie parkour game oh dead 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 Eye, Dead, no, not Dead Eye, no, the other one, the new one. Dying Light. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, this is Pikmin Dying Light. Because <laughs> you can go out at night in the dark, and yeah, it's the, scary. The dark monster Pikmin are out. Yes, so for those who are unfamiliar, every Pikmin game up until the point when the sun sets, like cutscene, your ship takes off. Mm. It is not a choice about whether or not you get to go out at night because 
you and your Pikmin will get murdered by the night creatures. But strange planet. I really am curious about the introduction of the night Pikmin and what that means for like the gameplay of this game. I love darkness. The pooch. The pooch. I see. The I pooch. get I'm looking at the, the pooch, pooch is right like now. the assist, right? He, he I is. see him. He probably ride him around. God damn it. Like when I saw him, like they were like, you can use him to float your Pikmin. And I was like, heaven sent. <laughs> this pooch is sent from heaven. Tired of your Pikmin drowning. To float. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> If I could put together like a, Montage. it's been a long <laughs> Just a credit Without obituary you, of all friend. your dead Pikmin. All my Pikmin <laughs> just drowning. It's never, it's never them getting eaten. It's never them falling off ledge. It's drowning. It's me, dumbass, walking into water and non-water Pikmin following oh, me. Right uh, it. <laughs> we'll follow you anywhere though, master. And then their little souls. <laughs> <laughs> so Bro. I've had to spend so whole days re-harvesting re my pigment because I just lost them all a whole in a pond. A full-on color just gone. In a slightly too full puddle. Oh but yeah, God. another thing that we've never really seen in Pikmin is weather. Um, mm. So I'm wondering if there are any, they might offer any weather elements in this game. They showed like a bunch of co-op and multi multiplayer too, right? Yeah. Like, even competitive, I thought I saw. If I can get some people to play Pikmin with me, I'll be very ecstatic to try those out. I would try it. We did, we could double joy break the you know one Joy-Con a piece. We could try it out. Well, I was about to tell you. I was like, do you do? You, I was like, this is kind of my thing. Do you really want to go never, up against me? I, well, no, I'm not. <laughs> hold on, I'm not challenging you. I'm just saying okay. I, I've never. Like I never. We can, got we can do it. We can do a Dan Dory battle. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get let me get some warm ups. Let me get a grips. Let me get my grip, my grasp. Look, the... I'm shit at PvP, but do not challenge me at menial tasks like fruit collection. I will destroy <laughs> fruit you. Fruit collection, like Mario this Party is, mini games. This is why I'm so good at Mario Party and not good at shooters. <laughs> <laughs> I can saw a goddamn log faster than anybody else pressing A and B. Look, WarioWare, <laughs> the micro games. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sneeze. <laughs> Balance. <laughs> oh yeah, I hope I think that's in here too. So I think we'll actually get to the new WarioWare game too cuz I was like, Oh, nice. But yeah, so very excited for Pikmin 4. They do one thing about Pikmin like it, outside of my goofy ass love for it, just straight up they the innovations that they make from game to game truly are like they don't feel gimmicky it's yeah. not like this is the gimmick for this game this yeah. is the gimmick like they every game has the gimmicks from the one before because it's such a quality of life improvement and yeah. it makes the game so much more fun they and all more make manageable. the game better yeah like thing. oh my i'm looking at like that little red and white pikmin yeah those little eyes. assholes they can find hidden stuff oh. so if you have them just with you and you're walking over like dirt, they will get, they will like cluster. If there's something hidden like in the secret, ground, they'll, yeah. yeah, they'll start digging it up. So I'm like, they, they find ways to make different Pikmin like innovative Useful. and different. Yeah. What's this little black one do? Or is he a new one? Uh, is that the purple one? No, the, bite, or the, the rock right of the dog. Oh, is that a rock? Is that what that yeah, is? So yeah. So that was in three. What are they I doing? know he was in three to you basically <laughs> smash it with the, <laughs> Oh my they are God. your they are your heavy boys. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So like you can smash can glass. Smash. You can knock like floating pick like floating enemies. You can Out throw them. Air. They'll pull. They'll weigh them down a lot faster. Got you. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. They're pretty dope. Yeah, because they have. I'm like I recognize the red, the yellow, the blue, and the purple <laughs> one from Smash. I think the ice but all is the new. Other ones, I don't know. The ice is the new one, and the nighttime one is the new one. I don't remember yeah. there being an ice one before. Ice could be cool. Yeah. I Unless he's a crystal, be. he could be a crystal Pikmin. Yeah. I'm just assuming ice. But yeah, we don't have to hang there. We know I like that game too much. Nice, nice. <laughs> nah, we, can, we can give Pikmin some shine. I don't mind. Um, we'll, we'll talk more when it comes out. Yeah. And next up, uh, Luigi's Dark Moon Switch remake. That was also a 3DS Ooh. game. Um, I never got to play that one, but yeah, that, that could be cool. I do want to get through... Or get into Luigi's Mansion at some point. I was gonna say, have you played any of Luigi's Mansions? Not really. Uh, what was the GameCube one? I touched that one a little bit. The was original that just Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion? Mansion. Yeah. Yeah. I touched that one a little bit. I've never played it. I don't think I've ever. Maybe once I rented it. Yeah. But I don't know if I got very far. I probably didn't get very far either. 
Um, but I'll have to check that out. Yeah, and there was a whole Switch one too, with a uh, Gooigi. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Who's Gooigi? <laughs> the <laughs> the Goop, because the three has co op, and so in the game you have a partner. It's Luigi and Gooigi, and he's like <laughs> Luigi but made a uh, like green slime. Ew. <laughs> it's Gooigi. Well, they totally set up uh, Ghost Hunter Luigi in Mario the movie. Oh, yeah. So We're hopefully this, is, off, this sure. is a franchise that won't die anytime soon. I don't think so. You got Luigi got to give it shine. But Nintendo, I will not keep saying this. Give Waluigi his own game. What is that? What is he going to do? He's the old. He doesn't do anything. He's going to be he doesn't doing do mischievous anything. stuff. He is a okay. Listen, this is how we explain Waluigi, right? Because <laughs> you be know like how. Banks. Hold on. You should be. You know how. Robber. You know how it's like when you clone something too many times, it starts to like lose its like genetic the thing, makeup. Like, it's it bad. starts to lose like the like the definitive it things that. Yeah, yeah. So, if wario is a clone of like mario, mario yeah. right but he's like a dark turn yeah. but then luigi is just also kind of a a, a half clone of mario no then waluigi waluigi <laughs> is like the most distant like shouldn't exist version because he's like a copy of a copy of a copy he's bizarro he's like bizarro you know like superman and bizarro but that's what, but that's what I'm saying. Wario is Bizarro Mario. <laughs> yeah. So it's like you got the weird copy brother of the copy brother. Bizarro version. Yeah. What is he gonna do? He should. He, he, no, I think actually I think he should. It should be a western. It should be like an old western, and he should be like a like a like a outlaw, like a cowboy. That would be fire. You're giving Waluigi way more characterization than he's ever had. It could be it could be like a like a like a like a old school mascot uh shooter platformer like a like a tie the Tasmanian tiger or like a like a Dax or like a like a Klonoa type of thing but he's he's in the western it's like kind of platformery it's got these levels you're it's a collectathon a little bit I don't you're collecting like whiskey bottles and he's running around with his dual revolvers shooting toads and stuff like I'm like you're lucky fire. that waluigi's game isn't just like waluigi's head but like andros in in star fox just like floating in space and then you're just like chucking trash at <laughs> but why does wario get two whole different genres of games because he's actually a thing so is like waluigi. he's but <laughs> Why do you hate Waluigi so much? I don't hate him. This is what I'm trying to. Okay, if I can think of a, if I can think of a like something similar, like I like Waluigi. I would explain it. To you. I get that. I like. Wow, I like Waluigi. Yeah. I think he's a cool like background like Wario's bad annoying. guy. He be farting at fart jokes. Like nobody like, care about fart but, jokes. But see, that's the thing, and that's what I keep saying. I'm like Wario is the verse of mario yeah. so that's why you can kind of use you can kind of just go like he's the creepy evil version of mario yeah he likes coins and does he's the weird robber. stuff but like again waluigi is just too distant because it's like it's <laughs> weird that luigi is a ghost hunter it's like yeah okay luigi must kind of be the opposite of mario so let's make him a coward yeah. right yeah. But do you get so this, you're following me, right? Yeah. This is what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is like <clears throat> Luigi, you have Mario, yeah. our hero, the pinnacle, the like guy that does good, the yeah. silent hero, blah, blah, blah. Then you have Luigi, yeah. kind of Mario's brother, Still but kind guy, of his opposite. Mario's red. Yeah. He's green. Yeah. Mario's brave. He's a coward. Yeah. Mario runs out on adventure. He kind of stays home. Yeah. But then you got... Let's make a weird alternate version of Mario that's evil and not Luigi, who's yeah. already kind of the opposite of Mario. <laughs> but so then we have a we have a super opposite of Mario, yeah. right? But then let's give that made up weirdo a brother that's like the original copy of Mario, <laughs> so that he has somebody weird and yeah. tall and skinny that's the opposite of him. Like Waluigi should be a good guy if we go off of like. He's an anti-hero. The, anti -hero. the, the he model where he's an anti-hero. But that's what I'm saying. Like he shouldn't be. 
based on like the model if he's if he's like a duplicate of mario and luigi yeah he should kind of be a little bit different from wario he shouldn't just be a skinnier quieter henchman version of <laughs> wario <laughs> that's not what luigi is right no he's I, so I see Wario so, as like the no 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 I'm gonna tell you what it no, is. No, so I'm just saying all that to say like it's really hard to characterize Waluigi and put him in a game with no, a personality. No, no, no. You're just saying when that. he's really just a shadow creature <laughs> that's just, like duplicate upon duplicate upon. He can be anything. It, War, who said? But he War, can't because he's so blank. <laughs> Wario didn't have a personality until they started making him Rob Banks. <laughs> Yeah, like all they have to do is give him a game, and boom! Now he has a personality. That's that's how they all. I get, but yeah, but you Luigi get what I'm didn't saying. Become though, right? scared you... until Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> like... I'm not, but that's what I'm saying. I'm not arguing with you, yeah, but you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah. But it would be weird if Wario was just Wario by himself facing Mario and Luigi. He right. Needs a, he needs I a, get that. A, a, I agree that. Yeah. I agree with that. I just think like he's like he's the Birdo, right? Yeah. Like, how do you give Birdo a whole game? They did it. Kinda. No, they didn't. Don't lie Mario to me. Mario 2. Don't lie to me. Mario 2 is kind of a Birdo game. Don't lie game. to me. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a lie. <laughs> it's kind of a Birdo game. <laughs> but nah, I see Wario as like the, the muscle. And Waluigi is like the brains. The brains? Not maybe not the brains, but it's like I don't know. They're like I think you, they're like you need rocket. to watch. They're like, you need to watch because I consider the brawl cutscenes as the <laughs> as the, the like canon. canon of Mario <laughs> of Mario of <laughs> Nintendo. So you need the to Nintendo watch metaverse. watch the brawl cutscenes again and see what <laughs> oh Wa Luigi's doing in the background. That's all I'm saying. Wow. I mean, he's probably doing, <laughs> yeah. He's probably he he's, actually he's the evil mastermind. To be honest, he's the sit back and twirl the mustache, and Wario's no. like the the brute. He's the little John of the war of Wario. You're not gonna make him the henchman. <laughs> yeah, he's not Wario's henchman. Yes, he he's not. He he's not his, the henchman. He's his backup. He's no, not he's his henchman. He's not his backup. They're equals. He's his, he's his he's right his hand Luigi. man. He's his Luigi. No, Luigi is player two. While Luigi <laughs> has player one potential. Okay, no. <laughs> Now this is going from Tiffany might hate Waluigi to Tyler is amped on Waluigi and has Waluigi. a weird spin. You just have a weird spin because I love only Waluigi one without a game. I love him in Mario Tennis. Yeah. Mario Tennis is he's Waluigi's really game to me. And soccer, yeah. he's nice in the so in striker. He's a beast in striker. He's the best defensive so, player because he's so long. And you just lost me on that whole argument. Like my <laughs> brain, I'm gonna be dreaming about like. It's just gonna be Mario, Wa Mario, Luigi, Wario, Waluigi spinning in my head tonight while I'm dreaming. He's always been like the coolest, like mysterious villain because it's like he's not. We know he's what Bowser's not. doing. Bowser's been around. He just kidnaps Peach and loses to Mario. But no. Wario's just or Waluigi's just in the back, like plotting. Like, yeah, no, not even twisting. He he's doing? just Wah. standing behind Wario. <laughs> it's he's he's ready though. He's ready. Crouch, for action. crouch, because he's a little too tall. He's got Scully. It's got scoliosis from ducking under doorways. Cause my, like Wario has to be the fat version of Mario, so Waluigi has it's to be the, gang, <laughs> the ganglier version of Luigi. <laughs> I relate to him. That's right. I know who you're gonna be for Halloween. It's cool. <laughs> While I could be, that's not a bad idea. All I gotta do, I can hunch over. Bro, you're already tall. Yeah, I just gotta hunch. Just get a purple put hat. The, put the mustache on. Get the upside down L. We in there. <laughs> Get some overalls done. Him and Birdo, they gotta get games. Come on, I'm petitioning for it. Um, <laughs> all right, let me keep going. All right, let's get away from this topic quickly. Um, Mario Plus <laughs> Rabbit Spark of Hope DLC. Um, I actually haven't seen that game on sale for fifteen dollars as much as I. I was gonna say one. the game, the series that should have died in game one and has somehow made the strongest comeback should've in the sequels. In game one is so messed up. Apparently, I just need to play two and just forget about one. I mean, you probably could. I doubt the story I, is that crucial. <laughs> well, I'm like, in my mind, this is Mario RPG, right? In yeah. the same way that Mario, uh, Paper Mario is Mario RPG. No, this is so Mario this, Tactics. That's right. I'm sorry. Thank yeah, you. yeah, this is Mario Thank Tactics. You. Yeah, this is Mario Tactic mm -hmm. in the way that the other game is Mario, is Mario RPG. Uh, yeah. Turn-based yeah. fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Mario I'm gonna stop a... saying RPG and say Mario turn-based fighter. <laughs> I think the only genre there hasn't been a Mario game is shooter. Mm. They've had sports, all to, all of sports, racing. Guess racing could qualify as the shooter because <laughs> <laughs> they're shooting turtle shells. <laughs> shooting turtle shells. <laughs> I see Mario with a gun, blasting stuff. Um, <laughs> what else? Platforming. The fire. The fire. Puzzles. Pew-pew. Yeah, the fire. Pew-pew. Yeah, that, I mean, I probably wouldn't be the gun, to be honest. Um, a Brent, we got a brand new 2D Mario game called Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and they finally dropped the the new from the Super Mario Bros. We're just back to Super Mario Bros. again. The Mario Mario drugs? Yeah. Super Mario Bros. Mario drugs? Shrooms. They finally ate the <laughs> He finally ate one of the shrooms in the Shroom Kingdom. <laughs> and this is what happens. He ate that one shroom he was afraid of eating all these years. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is trippy balls. This is... is this feels like, hey, people really like Tropical Freeze. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make a Mario version of that. Yeah, not nah, 100%. Just being honest, after watching a lot of Tropical Freeze. I think so, too. I'm not going to lie, too. Nintendo gets away with this a lot. But I feel like because they use art styles and because they often use the same art style as older games, it mm-hmm. feels more like 1.5e than sequel a lot of times. Even though I'm sure there's going to be all new levels, all that stuff. It's going to be the same jumping and stuff. So I kind of wish, I've always wished that the a new 2D Mario game would have like a completely different art style, maybe like a 2D art or like a shading type of thing or like a, Listen, you know what I'm this saying? Is why I, this is why I worshipped at the altar of Paper Mario for so long. It's so different. It's so Because it's just a different aesthetic and it played on like, hey, you can slip between these two things because you're paper thin and... I like. I really like that. But then they made twelve games with that art style. <laughs> no, I wasn't twelve. It was only like four. Uh, yeah. But they weren't. I think the problem with that is the three DS one and the sticker stars. A couple of them weren't that great. That's no. basically what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, if they would have kept up the quality of like the first three or whatever, it's I like think Thousand it Year fine. Door was the peak of yeah. Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario was okay. It was okay. Um, but it didn't hit the same as Thousand Year Door and original Paper Mario. But I was going to say, those games are the only games that gave me a sense of a open, like a world in Mario. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you like could a go li- back. Characters. You were and... going back and visiting places and talking to people and stuff like that. Everything, everybody had an actual personality and stuff like that. And, and yeah. each town had like a its own like quirky, different quirkiness to it. Those um, fucking shy guys are junkies, man. <laughs> shy guys are just crackheads. They I'm gonna are. just they tell you straight are. up. They're definitely like the the rejects of society. <laughs> Every once in a while, you get like a you get a really smart one yeah. that like can keep his shit together, but most of them are crackheads. That's why They're they got ins- that's why they got enslaved. You think Bowser's paying them? <laughs> oh, they don't. They work for themselves. They don't work for Bowser. Shoot, I thought they were slaves. They work for whoever's paying the highest. <laughs> yeah, whoever's got that's the why, crack. That's why they're always running shops. Hustling. They're like a highest bidder. Jawas. Or no, Ewoks. They are, bro. What are the one? No, Jawas. No, they 100% are probably Jawas. They're like Jawas. They are yeah. probably modeled after Jawas. They definitely remind me. They're always scavenging and stuff like that. Um, Can you believe that Mario Kart 8 is still dropping DLC passes? That's wild. <laughs> I, told, I yelled it. I literally yelled it. The never-ending Mario Kart. We're stopping at eight, folks. Yeah. Hope they y'all like they this were one. like, bro. <laughs> they went like this. They were like, <laughs> they were like eight. They were like that's eight a nice even number. Equals in infinity. <laughs> yeah, no. And they were like, we're never going to not. <laughs> oh my god nah it's true i'm telling you bro that it's like true they're gonna act like a new mario game's gonna come out they're gonna throw up that mario kart 8 and see they're gonna the turn DLC. that 8 sideways i'm telling you i see it because it's not an 8 it's a rainbow track yeah they're just gonna be like we're adding new characters new maps like nah it's we have now merged with hot wheels you're not wrong we have now bought out hot wheels when switch 2 comes out we're gonna get mario kart 8 deluxe deluxe I would with love all to the just Mario Kart 8 deluxe content plus the I, DLC. I would personally love to just build tracks for Mario Kart. Play and have I, custom player tracks and oh my god, nah, that because I and I do love that new like indoor track where it's like you're yeah. driving around a bathroom. Yeah. I love stuff like that. 
Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I think Mario Kart Eight everything is pretty much perfect. Like the art is perfect. The racing it just is perfect. feels so like, lazy. <laughs> it does. It's just, yeah. it's just like we're gonna keep tacking it on, tack like, it on. What would you add? Like a fourth drift or something? Like a fourth drift speed? Like tack what else on the do tracks. you add? You add a, uh, you add a uh, back riders back like double dash. Like what else would you do? Bro, look, man, Smash Brothers started this shit. Yeah, <laughs> never ending. We're just gonna keep adding infinite roster. Yes, yeah, so nah, they were like, crazy. this is the best it's going to get, so let's just keep adding to this let's one. Keep going, yeah. Nah, I got people at work that follow this, like, like I much prefer this professionally. This. I much prefer this than what the AAA companies do, like Activision, and put out a new Call of Duty every single year every for year. $60 yeah. every seven. I'm sorry, $70 every single year. Um, well, I, I yeah, I appreciate this. I appreciate that they're doing this as opposed to like re-releasing old tracks and pretending they're new. Yeah, yeah, they're actually That's... making new tracks. Yeah, yeah, which is dope. And adding, I think they're adding uh the squid, is one of the I new racers. I don't mind if you add old tracks to this game, but like coming out with like Mario Kart nine and then releasing a bunch of tracks from SNES is like <laughs> infuriating. Yeah, I know. Like so. they should have been in there if anything already. My default. Yeah. Um, and then next up, we got the Metal Gear Solid collections coming to Switch. Um, a new real WarioWare this time called WarioWare Move It. Um, so this is traditional, like, well, it's going to be motion controlled, of course, but it's traditional WarioWare, not like how the last WarioWare game was like a Loki, a platformer. Um, like you <laughs> controlled war- like the actual characters as opposed to, you know, controlling hands and stuff. So right. um, this was more what I was expecting when they announced the other game. So I'm kind of hyped for this one. Um I'm going to skip that one. Uh, The Star Ocean Mm -hmm. game looks kind of cool. This next one I'm pretty hype about. Finally, we're getting Vampire Survivor (laughs) to the Switch. And it's got four-player couch co-op. That's fire. I can finally help our nephew. (laughs) Yeah, that's so fire. Like, I can't wait to play this on Switch. I have it on. It will now be three platforms. This Um, is sad. Yeah, because this is a... I'm like, okay, a game I probably played way too much now i get to play with other people i guess like whatever (laughs) and i hope it has the dlc because they've come out with like three expansions so far or something like that okay so i hope it has that too um but yeah i I love this game it's like five dollars i'll buy every time it comes out on a new console i'm not even gonna lie to you it's a it's a very addicting it's super and it's like if you ever go back and play it it like re-addicts you Oh yeah, like because I just, as if you just I went back because I'm like time. I know I haven't like beaten this, but I'm just I like trying either. like trying to figure out what to do is because it's got those secret level unlocks and, and like just yeah. recently I'm like oh I didn't even know the goal was to survive 30 minutes mm-hmm. didn't know that till I just saw all these headlines where it's yeah. like you need to, and I'm like oh I thought it was just survive as long as you can yeah because so, the grim reaper come kill you I'll be going back but yeah no it's it's cool because there was this one level I did and I. It, it's not really a spoiler because it's vampire survivor but like i'm running around i'm completing the normal objectives right you follow the little arrow you pick up the item it tells you but then mm-hmm. this like event happens and it's yeah. like something pops out of a coffin and it's like yes. summons yes. a boss and it's like beat the boss then it's like escape in 20 seconds or you lose yes. and i'm like oh God. i've done that nah so i i like stuff like that like where you're just yeah. chilling you're thinking you're playing it normal and then like a whole secret level appears in front of you like yeah i love stuff like that that was very arcadey I oh, like yeah. that aspect of it. Um, so yeah, I really do actually one day want to fully beat that game. Um, and I'm just skimming a little bit here because I don't recognize any more of the titles. But yeah, that's about it for the the big name stuff. Um, oh well, I was gonna say head the headbangers rhythm royale with a bunch of uh, penises dancing around. It's right oh, below yeah. Uh, Silent Hope. Yeah, what are those? So chickens? I was like, I think they're pigeons. Oh, pigeons. And That's then nice. um, I was very excited to see Gloomhaven. Oh, really? Um, okay. This is a game that I played on Steam a lot. <laughs> oh, you know, me and my Steam ports. Interesting. But would, <clears throat> I think, benefit amazingly from being on Switch. Control-wise uh, or? Which yes, because this, this is a thick daddy board game. I actually mm. have some of the pieces right here. Like D&D type of vibes? I've literally kept this. We had uh, the produ- our old producer, Kay, and I had this game. And it was the, real the game, box the physical was like game. this big. Yes. Wow. It was this big. But you had to like lift the lid off. And like I have some of the Jesus. pieces here. So like they would have like numbered enemy pieces that you would sit on like these little stands yeah on the board like it's so much fucking setup it's like, like an rpg rpg 
and I was literally telling someone earlier today, like, I love board games, but it's literally the setup yeah. that prevents me. Like, I'm like, if there's a electronic version that prevents me from having to deal with all these pieces and management, I'm, wow. I'm uh, taking the electronic version. I don't know about you, but I really like those, um, like, abbreviated ones. Like, you know how they'll have, like, Dungeons and Dragons, but it's been abbreviated to, like, cards and, like, a small board or, or something. Yeah. Like, you know how they'll have, like, yeah. serious, but they'll abbreviate them and make them, like, really user-friendly. I really like those. Yeah, so I'm like, that helps for, and I feel like that's a symptom of us being video game people and not board game people because it is what it is. we're like, keep it, you do the math for me, yeah, and then please. tell me what I can do. I, and that's funny, <laughs> I was watching and I was like, this is why I will never play like real competitive Pokemon because I was watching like an in person event, uh, a uh, competition because they just came back after COVID or whatever. And it's, it's to the point now where like, they have this thing called an open team sheet and they actually let you like have a notepad and a pen with you. And so like in between turns, they're like writing down stuff their opponents do and they're like taking notes. And I'm like, I have this pet peeve about when I'm playing a game, I don't ever want to have to whip out like tools. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever want to have to write things down on paper while I'm playing something. I don't want to whip out so, a calculator. I don't want to, I don't want to do any of that. Just so do you all know, of it for me. This is, this notebook is also my gaming notebook. That's funny. There's, there's some like I was playing Paper Mario and like some stuff I needed to remember. Are you taking that I was notes like for the podcast or just for the game? I take I take notes for games and then when I have a podcast thought, I usually have a page for the week so that I remember to yeah. put it on that page. But no, I take notes in the game because they don't, those, I was playing it in 64. They don't there's have logs. No, yeah, there's no, there's no game. quest log. That's a great point. Um, and then, oh, I, I'm laughing while you were saying that because I recently started Escape Academy because I really okay. like escape room games. Yeah. And the first thing that they tell you in that game is grab a pad and a pen. Oh, my God. And I went, for real, though? Because <laughs> I was like, oh, People shit. People say that game's really fun, though. I, I like... Like that one game, The Room, that was on iPad that yeah, people, it's been ported a million game. places. Yeah. Yeah. I love that game. And so it kind of reminded me of that. And so far it's like, yeah, it's, it's first person escape room and it's got a mm. timer and everything. So wow, I like it. I just haven't talked about it because I, I only played for like 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. To see if I liked it or not. That's funny. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I got so, my notepad right here already. I was like, yeah, I unfortunately <laughs> keep notes because yeah. I feel like I have to. It makes it feel like homework. It does. Any type but of paper I like and that. pen makes me feel like I'm doing homework. I like when games feel like work, though, because then you can tell people, yeah, games aren't just, quote, unquote, games. You know what I mean? Like, it's you, like, you're engaging in something that's stimulating yeah. your brain. No, I, I tell people all the time, I learned how to read from video games. Every vocabulary word I know is because of video games, I promise you. every. Well, our nephew was really good at flying his little rem plane recently and i said that was video games probably it's probably because he yeah. knows how to move the those knobs things, already hand eye dexterity coordination yeah. say so he picked it up really fast yeah so that's funny <laughs> nah d give your kid ra let jrpgs raise your kid they're gonna have the best vocabulary Listen, reading I, comprehension you skills you ever. need to you need to write a book about your life because you i tell people up uh, you need to write, a, write book. a book about my life <laughs> Yes, because I tell people it's constantly, people who try to say video games are bad, I just point at you. Oh, yeah. No. Because you had a game in your face way more often than 100%, I did. Yeah. And I would argue that you're doing better than I am. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I'm like, our mother did me wrong by making books. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but see, now I can't read anything, though. That's not true. Well, I can, I can I can physically read, but I hate yes. I hate the act of reading though. I know, but you that's like, okay. So that's you, like my downside. Are you any? But are you at are you at a loss for hating to read? No, I guess not. most of the world hates to read. <laughs> that's probably true. <laughs> like yeah, I just always say that like I I have the benefit of yes when there's nothing on TV, I have no problem cracking a manga or a book and getting the I same type of enjoyment out of it. Yeah, but yeah, I'm like that's convenient no. too. Playing video games has been integral in i think to the way that we experience life taught me how to Period. type taught me about computers led me oh towards computers i'm so serious i learned how to type from world of Warcraft. i know you say that all the time and i'm like didn't get that skill didn't I, get that skill I only thing about... i got was hand-eye coordination that's well, all i got mmos that's the only reason 
<laughs> if you played WoW and RuneScape, you would be you would have been typing too. But traditionally, video games back in the day weren't computer. Video. They were. Oh well, yeah, but I, you know, we, I played nerd, nerdy. Yeah, nerd games. that's what I, I say. Was, you, I was, you, you played <laughs> WoW. I didn't yeah, play yeah, those yeah, types yeah. of games. I played nerdy nerd games. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. But nah, video games taught me a lot, man. Like, I hope my child likes video games. I would cry if they didn't. Wow, how would you communicate with them if they didn't? That would be, would be so awkward. That would be so sad and awkward. Be, I don't think there's. I think there's too many video games in proximity to not like video games. That's too. You can't just. That's. I, that's what happened to us, pretty much, right? We were just saw it. We were just surrounded by it, so we just started liking them. I think we were drawn to it because our dad was. Like yeah. our dad was a video game head way before we were. And it's like you see him playing something, you get interested. You're like, ooh, what? And then our older brother. Also hyper dedicated to video games. Yeah. So yeah, even when dad wasn't there, we were getting it from yeah. him. <laughs> nah, I feel it. I'ma just have but games I, running. I'ma have Twitch running when my kids born. No, if I don't have an arcade room in my like every second room in my house is always an arcade, arcade room. <laughs> always. It's mandatory. Even if you don't use it, like it's just gotta it's just for the comfort of it. Yes. Yeah, it's safe, All game systems place. must be in here and working. Yeah. No, I agree. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Oh, but, um, so at yeah, the end of this, it. very quickly, I wanted you to look up look up Baby Steps by P- for PS5. If you had not seen this game, the trailer for it is absolutely hilarious, and you reminded me of it um, when you were mentioning P- PlayStation earlier. But this oh game, God. for those who haven't seen this game, so it literally, I watched the trailer like once, but it's it's pretty easy to figure out what this game is about. Yeah. But it's like you kind of have two parents upstairs in the kitchen arguing about their son downstairs who in the basement who's basically like i've grown up on the couch playing video games and now Mm. i'm 35 and i still live at home and my parents are upstairs arguing because they don't know what to do with me yeah and character never speaks but you can tell all this through visuals and then he gets sucked into i guess his tv or game Mm. and he's in a big palatial like playstation like journey type atmosphere where it's like you know, ever ending meadows and mountain, whatever. Yeah. But he walks like a quap game. What's that? <laughs> and so, so for the, if you're unfamiliar, a quap game is like your you control the character's arms and oh, legs individually with, with yeah, QW, yeah, yeah. O, and P. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking <laughs> and about. And so when he walks, yeah. he takes like one step and it's like, because yeah. he's like awkwardly what? like trying to coordinate his yeah. steps. So, yeah, if you watch like that gangies. trailer, I'm like, who in the world came up with this game? Same person that came up with the Jesus game. <laughs> no, no. The person on, a G- on the Jesus game has been playing some games, all right? <laughs> they were like, I play God of War, I play Skyrim. Like, oh, now, no, I'm making, a now I'm making a game about Jesus. That's funny. I think the person who made the Jesus game likes anime. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> hey yeah. yo, I can't wait for Jesus the manga. I'm I in. I can't wait either. I'm in. That's funny. <laughs> I, lo- I, yeah. I wanna. They're gonna be ripped. We already. Uh, well, let me not spoil. Let me what? not spoil other anime. I was oh, like, let me not. I was like, let me not spoil. <laughs> yes, I was like, let me not spoil one of my favorite animes. I'm just gonna leave it there. That's hint, hilarious. Hint. Oh, um, interesting. Well, of course, we just of course haven't got this. Would be in JoJo. We haven't gotten right, there yet. Yeah. Ugh, but funny. um. So yeah, you ready to uh, get in some anime? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, what do you think? What did you think about Baby Steps? Did it, is, it look weird? It's funny looking. Yeah, it looks. It looks. It so truly goofy. is a walking similar <laughs> simulator, though. Oh yeah, it reminds me of a. Uh, I don't know if you heard of that game, Human Fall Flat. Uh, yes, you're I have. Basically, going through obstacle courses, trying to maneuver like a really clumsy like. Ragdoll uh, I know I haven't seen that. <laughs> it's so goofy. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. It's like a really popular like mobile like meme game. Like streamers will play it for like funny clips and stuff. It was okay. just like this human like tripping over stuff, stumbling. That's what he looks like, and he's wearing like a onesie, yeah. so that makes it worse. Yeah. All right, y'all. In- into anime we go. Let's do it. <clears throat> Cause some stuff has been popping off. For sure. Yo. Woo. All right, so we just slept on 
the whole end of Demon Slayer while we were not podcasting. Yeah, so we didn't talk about the finale. Let's start there. What Greatest did you... season finale in the last three years. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what did you think of the season as a whole compared um, to the other seasons? I would say I probably I feel like I like it more than the rest of the internet. I feel like a lot of people were down on it specifically because they were comparing it to season two, like heavily comparing it to season two. And while I still, I think it's okay to compare it to season two in the sense of like, it feels like still a, a, a what's the word I'm looking for? Like a pacing upgrade to season one. Um, and I thought season two kind of felt like a pacing upgrade to season one. It feels like they're, sticking very closely to the source material and kind of getting two things without feeling super rushed um there are some Mm -hmm. things that feel a little bit rushed but it doesn't feel it feels rushed in the way that this is what it should have felt like to fit in 13 episodes it doesn't feel like they're skipping stuff though to me can i just interject and on that note say i do not think either of those demons could have held an art by themselves probably not so to me, it made sense for those demons to be combined. Together. And I think that's all I'm saying. Just from what I've heard, I think the next arc is called the Infinity Castle arc, and it's like they're grouping even more demons together. I think. Uh huh. Um, it might end up just being two because I forget what the cutoff is. I think there's only two arcs left. It's that arc and then like the final arc. And I know they split the fights up kind of in between them. I don't know where the cutoff is though. I can't imagine it. You can't speed up. We're getting to the The end. The scarier demons. Like the legit frightening demons. So I'm like, I would imagine those fights would go slower. I would think so too, yeah. Um But yeah, the the one thing that I will say though about these two demons is that they're supposed supposedly and i know they have that weird thing about the Daki and gyutaro saying um they had that one line about how gyutaro was way stronger than his like ranking because he cared about his sister too much but if he didn't have his sister he would have been like way higher so Mm -hmm. i get that and i that kind of like is in my mind about why like they had so much trouble with him but it feels like the one dude the fish dude it feels like was kind of like a walk in the park the pot yeah the pot dude um but he was silly he was yeah he was very silly and then the whole like like oh your art compared to my art like he he felt cheap yeah in that way he didn't he didn't feel as serious like as he he had the like he soka clown vibes but he didn't have the sinister threatening like right. I'm scared of you type of thing, yeah. yeah. And so he felt like kind of like he would have been like a lower ranked demon. Like he didn't feel like like it almost felt like a uh, Muichiro was almost like toying with him to some extent. Yeah, um, and that's why I say like I feel like these two neither of them could carry because they yeah. they had like kind of one gimmick. Yeah. Um, and the other dude, the other dude felt more scary and powerful because it was yeah. like. Tanjiro plus Genya plus a uh, whole Hashira all fighting him at the same time and they were kind of having trouble a little bit so I, I kind of I I enjoyed that demon I, I did too yeah <laughs> um I, I I like the just the whole concept of the different emotions and the different they each had their own powers it kind of reminded me of like pain from Naruto how like each body had its own separate powers and they would like do like team attacks and they'd be like shooting off their different powers um i i will say it was kind of odd and maybe this was like them saving money but like when he transformed into the last demon with the with the the drums around his back and the snake he literally just stood in place the whole time and just hit the drums and the snake flew around it was the snakes yeah Yeah. um so i thought that was kind of odd just because like all the other but i guess that's kind of just his thing because it felt like all the other demons were in the mix more i took it as like this dude is just all decoys yeah it's just decoys because it's like he doesn't want to fight yeah he's scared yeah (laughs) and i like like that's the part that i really like because i'm like as someone who constantly deals with fear Mm -hmm. there's a certain thing with fear where once you get so afraid of something you start to get angry Mm -hmm. because your body just can't handle being that afraid for that long it's too stressful yeah so then you start to feel like that rage. thing starts to trigger rage and so i really liked when like 
choked um, out Tanjiro. Tanjiro's like ch- like choking, like got the sword to his throat, but then yeah. he's like, I'm sick of you guys like scaring the shit out of me. So yeah. then he's like, boom, boom, boom. He gets like really me. big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, I really enjoyed that because that I'm like, cool, yeah, yeah, I could totally see someone becoming a demon out of fear. Yeah. A hundred percent. And to protect Muzan themselves up like hey join me <laughs> yeah he got he got big bro he like he was choking like... him out he gripped <laughs> yeah. up his neck and was like, and then, yeah then uh, Ging is like... Was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> so good it's like passing out yeah and no, i love yeah. those moments but yeah he was like but i liked i just had this weird moment of like yeah like get buff like yeah. don't be afraid like buff up bro you're like, like you're a demon <laughs> you're a whole upper moon and then, like, yeah, I'm thinking about that side, and he's like, he's fighting a whole nother fucking Hashira. Oh, yeah. Like, forever oh, away. Side. Yeah. <laughs> he's powerful. Yeah. Like, he's stupid powerful. He's oh, hold yeah. like, he's got five other bodies he's working from a distance. That's kind of what I was getting at. He felt like, and I know he was fourth in the fish dude, or the pot dude was fifth. Yeah. But he felt like he made the pot dude feel like seventh, and he was fourth. You know what I'm and saying? Like, he felt I, like he should be in his spot. It was easy to forget that the pot dude also unleashed many. He transformed too. Well, I was he had like, a whole he, transformation <laughs> and still got. He clapped. released many little demons upon the village too. Yeah, with the fishes. Yeah. The pot fish. So. Yeah. Um, and one other thing that I think did feel rushed was the backstories of the demons. So, like, usually we get like an, I feel like enough backstory to really understand how they became a demon their motivation and stuff these two just felt like do do like five seconds max muzan walks up join me now you're demons it didn't really talk about like it didn't make me feel for them at all like i was just like okay these two are just just demons whereas like Yutara, i'm like oh dang he kind of had it rough like he well, doesn't seem so bad that one you could argue guitar you could argue let's um let's Put some type of reflection of Tanjiro's relationship with Nezuko. With his sister, yes. On the opposing side, yeah, right? So yeah, let's yeah. let's have some similarities. So I could see that that was interesting on that sp- uh, sure. aspect. With these guys, it felt more like they were just societal rejects, for. like in some way, like they're. Well, no, was I like was going to say where that played into like the family aspect the the take care of each other mm-hmm. right and this felt more like it points to you remember i said about the end that we're getting to yeah. but i said about like i did not expect the muzan stuff at the end like the whole like, i did his, not either yeah his reveal. i think the <laughs> cheapness of those guys plays into his, his the reveal of his actual <laughs> motives <clears throat> Take a sip if you need one. (laughs) But yeah, so I say all that to say that uh, when we get there, I'll explain a little bit better. But I think that them being so cheap. That's a good point, though. Feeds into the to how Muzan's mindset was when he was making these Them. demons, yeah, because of why he was doing this. So yeah. that I'm only gonna I'm just throwing them that little bone because if they did it that way, I think that's that's pretty smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also do think the three upper moons, the last three Akaza, uh, was it Daki and the six eye dude? Mm-hmm. I think they're all gonna have probably pretty drawn out backstories. I would yeah. imagine because they and that like dude, they characters. keep showing that one dude constantly. The red haired guy, yeah. the ponies. Oh yeah, they oh, show yeah. him constantly. He was, so I'm like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be half an arc. It's gotta be. I like think so. <laughs> we can't brush over that guy. A hundred percent. Um, because it's like I feel like that was that has to be Muzan, like getting possession. <laughs> of one of these birthmark people yeah because we're learning that these people that can that have these birthmarks like the Hashira are like you're super about, right? special <laughs> yeah. and like tanjiro yeah and it's i think the 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 first dude that they keep showing with the ponytail um, and Kon- kanroji yeah. now my favorite Hashira now <laughs> until we progress further yeah tenzin was my favorite now she's my favorite i can't decide between <laughs> tenzin and rengoku i love them both yeah, Ringoku. It's just hard to. He inspired. It's hard me. to. Ringoku is my favorite dead Hashira, right? I can't. It's hard for me to like hype <laughs> oh, him when no. I just know he's just he's dead. Never coming back. And he got he robbed. Did. Like he got robbed. He, he got did. robbed so hard. He did. It's always the so, brightest ones that get taken yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's messed up. Um, but yeah, I guess we can talk about the the Muzan part. Oh, now. very quickly, I'll just say because you uh, my ranking it's it's season wise it's two, mm-hmm. three, then one. I probably agree but with finale. That. Finale wise, this blows it's, it out the water. It's three, two, one. Yeah, this blows it out the water. <laughs> so I was like, this is the best finale. They sn- by anytime, hands down. I think too. Anytime you see seventy minutes or sixty minute finale, it's like <laughs> every. I think every studio should do that. Like it's well, if you're gonna way. end, if you're gonna end on an episode eleven, yeah. it should be the length of eleven and twelve. Yes, hundred percent. I agree. Um, it just feels um, good though. Like it feels better. I don't know why. Like feels like more time to wrap things up. So where did you want to go? I cut you off. Um, oh, I was saying, did you want to go to the Muzan thing? Oh, real quick. I want to talk about Conroy G a little bit okay. because she she did, she got robbed of time this season. Yeah, she I was feel kind like. of off screen. She was gone. We talked about her. Yeah. She showed up. Then she was not present yeah. <laughs> for a very long time. The village a little then bit. she showed up, blew shit out of the water. At the end like, of an just... episode, though. <laughs> the twirling. Yeah. No, nah, oh, that's so just... cool. Sailor. Right, she her did her sword. like moon. Prism. I need that sword explained. I need the science <laughs> of that sword explained. <laughs> <laughs> I need the science of her hair explained. What you mean? Oh, the how the braid stays. Oh no no no! But, like she had black hair, but she ate so many rice oh, balls. Oh yeah, that it turned pink. <laughs> she yeah. ate so many soccer rice that. balls that her hair turned pink and green. I forgot. I need about to understand. That. I need the explanation for that. It's her burning passion. Um, but yeah, I love her little backstory of, because I'm like, this is like, we always go so deep and so dark in these animes, but I love her little backstory of like, yeah, like I just was like a strong, like little girl. She was strong. (laughs) Yeah. She was like, I was kind of a weirdo. Like I could like arm wrestle grown men and I had a tremendous appetite. And then, um, my hair started changing. She color. met, she was tr- like, her family was trying to marry her off. Mm-hmm. But I guess these men found oh, her to I be awkward. About that part. He was you like, forgot about he this? He was like, this isn't going to work. I, I can't stand your hair and you're too weird. Bye. He was, was like, like, you're Jesus too Christ. You're too strong. And, and he was like, God forbid my children have that hair. And I was, <laughs> yeah, like, I was like, oh my God. It's so rude. So then she went through a period of like, well, I guess I'll just pretend to know. not be weird she and I'll dye my it. hair. Yeah, she was, she was dyeing her hair back black. Yeah. And then I think like she almost met like someone was about to marry her, but then she just decided like I want to find the person that's right for me as I am. Mm-hmm. She's like I want to find someone that that I thought, didn't loves she, me. She, didn't she see somebody like win a fight or something? She saw somebody I, like do something really strong, and she was like, "Oh, there are other strong people out there." I I thought maybe, she saw something. I could be forgetting. I can't because I thought her journey was very much like. Her she it was self progressed yeah it wasn't like um Uricio where he saw like the demon like the demon murder his family and no 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 you know like the the late the healer <laughs> lady from demon demon hunter mountain was around yeah. Uricio Uricio oh yeah like yeah, she yeah. came in and saved him and all that yeah like it's she, I don't think there was anybody like that around Hanroji okay. Unless I'm wrong, I don't. I kind of forget. It's kind of blurry to me. But yeah, she it. just said that she she's freakishly strong and yeah. she would she wants to fight for the one she loves and her friends and yeah. stuff like that. But yeah, she did. She basically became a Hashira because she's like, I gotta find a dude that's strong, as enough. weird and as strong as me. <laughs> that's funny. I also <laughs> this is really, how I will find love. I really like. I always like the prodigy approach too. It's like you don't always have to go through like a crazy amount of training from nothing. Like you don't no. have to be like the Tanjiro. Like I have no talent. Um, sometimes you can just be freakishly strong and then you just throw a sword in your hand and now you can slay demons. Well, oh, <laughs> that's what it was. She was like two or three and she said her mom was struggling with something and she just lifted it immediately. Yeah. It was like a rock or something. Wasn't she also arm wrestling for money? Like for bets? But that like was after. Bets. Okay. That was after they found out. Because, yeah, when she was little, she was like, my mom needed to lift this stone. And she was like, I just, like, she lifted just it and scared the shit out of her mom. Yeah. And then, but, yeah, her she was lucky enough to have a family that accepted her. So, right. like, her dad's like, yeah, you can wrestle my daughter for money. Get some money. Yeah, <laughs> type of thing. That. that was funny. I like that. Part. And so her family, I think, was very uh, supportive of her, which mm-hmm. was nice and refreshing. But, yeah, for I just sure. like that she's like, no, I'm gonna, I want to find love. And then, like, yeah. her whole motivation, she's like, I'm not going to let my friends die. Yeah. 
and then the dragon like uh, goes yeah. after and she's just like she's like i'm nope. not gonna let my friends die yeah. <laughs> just like pure i'm willpower. gonna protect them Power and then yeah, she, she's like at the end she's like crying like just when she's about to run out of power she's like i'm yeah. sorry i really tried yeah <laughs> she's like i was so it's like you girl, so much you were doing the most yeah. so, like yeah, more than they would have been dead there. if you were not there absolutely so yeah that, her like watching her like just barely make it as as tanjiro kills the demon yeah. is like the best that was like the best I relief like, i like that and i like how her backstory was like lighthearted too yeah it and like, i love that like it's like when they win she just rushes she's like she's like yeah she's like yeah. hugging her she's like we're friends she's we're good all friends. vibes yeah she's good vibes yeah, yeah. <laughs> i enjoy i enjoy kanroji yeah a lot um i like her motivation She's like the um, like when all the Hashiras are together and like the two gruff ones are like fighting or whatever is like there's tension. She she'll be the one that's like, nah, guys, it's all good. Let's, let's just love each other. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like it could be so much worse, you guys. Yeah. Like um, that. but yeah. So now, uh, we can kind of move from that. So we talked a little bit about it's a it's a ongoing fight. I think this fight was like two episodes worth of fight yeah. with Kanroji and all of the sequels, but. I basically want to fast forward to uh, one of my crucial moments, which is like, okay, so Conroji's fighting the main body of the, uh, I always want to call him Genya. Or no, the side body. Yeah, I'm sorry. The the I say the main bodies is in like the the oh, ones the he emotions. originally let out yeah, to fused emotions. to fight, and um, Tanjiro and. Genya. I always call him Genya. Is that his yeah, name? They were fighting. They are chasing after the the the, the main body. body, the core body, because Tanjiro can smell it. Yeah. <laughs> I love the scent tracking in that show. It's... They still never explain why Tanjiro has. Smells. He's a, he's he lived he grew up in the woods. He's a hunter. It I makes sense to me. One, he grew up, grew up in the woods. I don't think I don't think Zenitsu was a woods boy. Yeah. I well, bet he knows he can, knows K, he, knows K, he can probably track he can probably track like Tanjiro I hope so. dude's got a whole animal mask <laughs> but yeah so they're tracking that body and then we're also we don't realize it until a few minutes later but we're also simultaneously running into Sunrise Yes. Um, which is a problem for the demons but we swiftly almost find out it's also a problem for Tanjiro they because just of flee. Nezuko well I was like we forget about Nezuko oh yeah that too but I love it's like here we are again chasing a demon into the woods at sunrise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a common thing that we have to go through. It, that's what he said. He's like, as soon as the sun comes up, they're just gonna run. So I have to kill him before the sun. Yeah, comes and then Tanjiro, Tanjiro launches into my favorite of you coward. Yeah, you get back here. <laughs> that seems to light Tanjiro's fire. Is when a demon doesn't face he hates up when they run. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid runner! Like he, he, he like transforms into like, like Tanjiro beast you. mode. Right when I'm about to kill you, you decide to run. <laughs> you pee on. Um. So this all uh, surmount. Like we kind of get to this point, this moment of tension, where we're literally chasing this demon into the sun. We're chasing the larger body, not knowing that there's still a core. Mm -hmm. He has shrunken down and is hiding in the core of this demon body. But that body is chasing some blacksmiths that were on yeah, the periphery of the battlefield. I'm like, get out! Why are you guys here? Leave! Just hiding behind the only rock there. So he thinks, I can go get some blood off these humans, buff up real quick, and knock Tanjiro get out. So out he's here. chasing them. Sun is rising. Yeah. So we see the sun line. But not close enough to kill the demon. But way too close to Nezuko. So now we've got a situation where Tanjiro has to, like, on the spot decide, do I protect my sister from the sun? Because she doesn't have her box. We don't have her boxes long gone. And she has no or, legs at the moment. Does don't she? That. Yeah, she got, oh, okay. like, that's why she's, like, laid out in the grass. She has, okay. like, her legs got cut off. And then, and she's also weakened from the fight. And then mm -hmm. we've got two blacksmiths are about to, literally about to get eaten and die. Because they can't. For some reason, they can't outrun this headless demon that's chasing them. I don't know them blacksmiths. I hate that. Look, I was mad at them blacksmiths. Uh, yeah. So, for the first <clears> time, <throat> we really see Tanjiro, like, cracking. Like, he's like, Yo, he had they a did a really attack. Well, that's what he I was like. They did a really like, good job. He was like, uh, uh, yeah. That was like a real on screen anime was like, panic attack. Like, uh, yeah. I was like, look, the hero can't not hero. Yeah. I was like, it's going to break his brain. And he it's can't funny. not hero. It's funny because their whole thing is breathing styles. And it's like, your breathing's all jacked up. You can't up. do nothing. 
can't do anything. And so there's like this way too long moment of Tanjiro not breathing, not thinking, not acting. And Nezuko just burning though, still. Yeah, Nezuko is slightly burning from the sun. Like he's just. He's like hunched he, over. He yells it like he jumps on her and because she's bigger, she's in he's her like larger form. Yeah. yeah, and he's like, shrink, Nezuko, shrink. And so she's trying to like get into his shadow. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it was intense. It was intense. so we have this like way too long moment of like indecision. And that's when Nezuko just kicks Tanjiro off of her into the air. Go catch the demon. <laughs> and we have the longest, most panicked flashback. <laughs> Of a brother and sister growing up yeah. in harsh times, like, yeah. I, cause, bro, would they wait they're to they're the two oldest? <laughs> I was like, don't. I literally like our nephew sitting behind me on, on the couch. The, I was the like, face zoom in. I was like, no. When they do the no. face zoom in, the contemplation camera angle. <laughs> you know that flashback's coming. The snow. Yeah, you know it's coming. <laughs> you thought that was, was gonna be the whole rest like, of no. the episode. <laughs> I was like, you will not. We are not saying goodbye. That's the last 20 minutes. I was like, I, I didn't look. I refused. My eyes were closed. I was like, I said, I will not watch this character die. That would have been crazy. This character will not self-sacrifice in front of me right now. That would have been crazy. And so at, and so this, we have about three minutes of Tanjiro midair. He's like, like in a flip, basically having to say goodbye to his sister. Yeah. Because he knows that what she's that telling means. him. To okay, go yeah. do your job, bro. Yeah. Like I'm not worth your job. So yeah. I'm sad. The slowest Charlie Brown flip in history. Tanjo lands on his feet and Turn. does a this is his second, right? This yeah. is the second time we get to see Thunderclap the, the Dash. Light, the... Thunderclap da- Thunder Thunder and Dash. dash. Thunderclap and Dash. I called it the ready set strike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Tanjiro gets into his starting position at the line and he, he I love how he just under like adapts to, to Zenit. Tanjiro. I love it's how we heard legs. we heard Zenitsu's voice. voice. It's in so his crazy head. he Tanjiro. hasn't been in the whole season, him or Inosuke. That's I so meant crazy. To, I meant to tell you, I think it was like it was either one or two episodes before the finale. Did you happen to see the post credits where it's it's Zenitsu and Inosuke going why the hell aren't we in the episodes? No, that's hilarious. They literally go, "Why aren't we? Why aren't we in the action, bro?" That's like you so have to funny. watch it. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, so "Yo, they're funny. calling it out." That's hilarious. I love when they break the wall like that. That's funny. So yeah, I love. So ho- this gives me hope that maybe in the next arc we'll get a Inosuke break in to Tanjiro's brain and he'll do like the the boar, yeah, the boar solars, or he'll, or he'll dislocate his something. his yeah. body. Yeah. Well, I was like, I. I always thought that the headbutt was Tanjiro's, like, that was Tanjiro's attack, that, yeah, was the headbutt. Too. But remember, yeah. Inosuke was beating his head into the tree. Yeah. <laughs> and that was, like, <laughs> to make his head strong. But, yeah, so, basically, yeah. Tanjiro immediately adopts it. He's lightning breathing to get, because he's, like, lightning breathing's legs. all in the legs. Yeah. And so he's, like, I need to close this distance. Boom. Zzz. So we get, like, we get a lightning with, like, a fire burst at the yeah, front, which is, so like, cool cool ass this is like um fire force shit that i didn't think we'd be seeing for a while and like how last season we got the water mixed in with the fire yeah the end. Like, so now wow, we get the lightning fire stuff. i love it yeah um so yeah he closes that gap uh he gets that and now he at this point he has the sword that our poor boy lost his eye yeah. honing like i was like this character's so beautiful too because it was like it wasn't what? finished it's first it's stage the- <laughs> First stage only. Yeah. Give it <laughs> only back. first stage. Don't you do it? I'm not done. You were holding him like yeah. He was so mad. So mad. So um, but yeah. So gets he gets the head off, and the thing that struck me too is like, so this fight is taking forever. Like they've been trying to yeah. cut this dude's head off almost as bad as uh, his head your is tar- <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Where it's like you're just. It's like, like I remember that ribbon. Remember him trying to cut that ribbon? Yeah. And it's just like, stretch, 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 stretch. And still That's going. what it felt like with this dude. Oh, yeah. And as soon as that moment, like, heads off, <laughs> Tandro hits the ground, immediately goes into just mourning his sister. Because, mm-hmm. like, I was just like. Oh. I was like, Jesus. And it's like, he is so present. Like, Tandro is so present. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he yeah. just immediately is like, Nezuko! He knew as soon as he as soon as she kicked him like he yeah 
And it's and as soon as we get him bawling, we get the camera cuts to somebody's like, very unsteady point of view yeah. walking towards Tanjiro. Like Tanjiro. And bro. we learn that Nezuko is perfectly okay. Yeah. And can now walk in the sun for some reason. And can talk. Oh also for some reason, yeah. <laughs> it's uh what she kept saying, uh uh she said good morning. Thank goodness. No, she kept saying thank oh, okay. goodness. She was like, Yeah, because I heard the first thing she's like, Oh hi, because I must Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Oh Yeah. I'm like, oh. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, she probably hasn't seen a sunrise in a minute. In a long time. That's funny. She so just cute. got that little smile on her face, like, yeah, it's all good. Everything I was like, there. Oh, Zenitsu's gonna wet his damn pants, son. Oh yeah. But anyway. No so, more box? No more box, I don't think. No more box? I think we out. get level. We're going to get level up. Yeah. Now. Level yeah. up, level up. That'd be cool. But yeah, so I meant very. I was like, this was like one of the most heart wrenching finales. I thought his sister was dead. Intense, yeah. And I was like, this, he was like, this is the whole reason I did all this shit was to fix my sister. And Tandro, <laughs> of all people, does not deserve this. He's never deserved this. And uh, shout out to the uh, the Yuichi the Yuichiro cry that sounded like Zenitsu's cry. Oh, Tanjiro, Tanjiro, Tanjiro. Yeah, <laughs> from the mountains. <laughs> I love how I he's love all it. upbeat and peppy now too. I I love like, that he had a twin. Yeah, like, that made the difference for me with that for character. Sure. So yeah, um, I we that kind of wraps up that action part of the finale. Yeah. And then, now that we know about Nezuko, because we Someone know what we about know, Nezuko too. We also know that like Tanjiro is kind of on the side collecting blood for like demon research. Yeah, um, I always for forget that, about that because they never show cat, him get the blood. I was yeah. gonna say that little cat always shows up, and then that lady. I'll and take a, this. Oh yeah, we're doing research. Yeah. Um. So yeah, this is when we get a we get kind of a swift cut over to the demon side, which is like we're pretty used to that with this like demon yeah. slayer does that they'll go to the demon's perspective at the beginning and end of the season and we get to learn about muzan's true drive and motive which mm -hmm. is not just to be evil and make demon yeah it's actually to be immortal yeah <laughs> do you want to explain that a little bit more um so yeah basically back there's a, a good old flashback good old muzan backstory um, he was like, a, I don't know if he was like a priest or a prince or a king or something like that, but he was very sickly. And um, Looked like some like maybe a shogun or something. Yeah, like next to be in power and probably some royal family or whatever. I actually think he's in the same family as the head dude, the the dude with the disease all across his face. And his oh, OK, before. that I would make he's sense. He's mentioned before that that's like the only mark on his family's name is Muzan. Okay. So I think he, Muzan's like some long, 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 like okay. pre-descendant or whatever. Um, <laughs> it's from the era where everybody wore tall hat, yeah, and bow on them and robes. <laughs> I always robes forget everywhere. which which era that is. Yeah, I don't know the Inuyasha era. That's I'm trying to get better at Japanese history. I think, it, I think that's feudal. Or maybe. they they have a I think they have a lot of eras in, in the feudal, feudal era. Yeah, I know Edo Edo period is the weird period like Meiji. Where I know stuff Meiji got from <laughs> I don't know. We gotta it was, stop. Though. Everybody says don't learn about Japan from anime. Really? And that's like the one thing we do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but anyway, sorry it. to interrupt you. Um, but no. So he's like a Muzan's like the sickly. He's a actually a younger dude, but he's really sick. Like he's terminal illness. He's about to die soon, and he's mm -hmm. like really frustrated about it. He basically is like he has this attendant slash doctor who's like he's been sending out trying to figure out cures, and he's not like no luck. So like the moves on to getting more and more mad and then i forget exactly what happens they don't they, they kind of rush through this part a little bit but i think the doctor basically just comes home with a medicine one day made mm -hmm. from the the blue spider lily and he gives mm -hmm. it to moves on and then moves on's just like um it doesn't seem like it works so i murdered my doctor so i killed him yeah but then it actually worked up. but then it worked I, I woke up the next morning and i felt better than i've it, ever felt in my entire life i'm immortal now but it, i realized i can't go out in the sun and so now I killed the only guy who might be able to tell me about this this potion he gave me and why I can't go out in the sun. 
So now I'm going to dedicate the rest of my immortal life into figuring out how to I finding can this flower sun. that probably doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cuz I need I need to be back in the sun if this is so he, true immortality. He basically starts referring to Nezuko as the blue spider lily because he's like you are the magic ingredient now to oh. my mystery. Sorry, that was the other part. You're fine. The, the whole reason why he's been making a bunch of demons is to eventually get one that's immune yes. to the sun. Yes. So mentioning that, that's why I rewind back to say that's why I think the this season's demons were so cheap. Because it kind of it shows Muzan's desperation and who he's picking picking to turn. (laughs) Yeah. In some cases. Yeah. And then but then you have one Yutaru and who are stronger or had different motivations. Yeah. Um so yeah, and then that's kind of thing he senses ne- nezuko like awakening because he's still yes. connected to all the demons he makes so he like senses yes. that she's awake in the sun and he's like now that's my target that's crazy gotta find her um, and then he just slaughters that whole family he's been hiding in yo he's so ca- <laughs> he keeps do- like he'll be in his little kid body and then just turn in a second and just murder whoever <laughs> yeah like it's nothing i'm like jesus i'm cold-blooded i love when people just use their nails like nice Swing. That's a bad man. Dang. Yeah. Michael Jackson bad. So that wraps this season of Demon Slayer. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, uh, UFO Table. Great finale. I appreciate it. Amazing. You guys are doing amazing work. Keep it up, honestly. It's a heartfelt story. I can't wait to see what it, what manga you choose to herald after Demon Let's Slayer. Let's get back to fate. Woo! No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Because we don't have 18 renditions oh, just... of Saber. <laughs> we need more more Saber! Yeah, there's enough fate. There's enough fate. There's enough All fate. right, so let's very quickly move into Hell's Paradise. I know yeah. we spent a lot of time on Demon Slayer because it was the finale, but yeah. Hell's Paradise was also popping off. I uh, think there's a lot to be said for, because my, I don't, did you watch this week's? Mm-hmm. Okay, because my ass is like, Tencent ain't dead till they pop into their flower form. Absolutely. So don't turn your back on that shit until it's a giant flower animal. Yep. And holy shit, I want every single, I want every single Tencent Kami form in like you know on what my they wall. Remind me of they're so cool looking. They literally look like Persona monsters. Like that's really? how, like there's this like and not just Persona, but there's this like Shin Megami, of like Shin Megami Japanese RPG where the monsters are like flower pots mixed with like legs coming out the top with like a mouth <laughs> coming out the you know what I'm saying? It's like just yokai. Really, they're they're just yeah. like crazy. But I I there's something about and it's the juxtaposition, right? Yeah. It, they know what they're doing with the juxtaposition of these beautiful, gorgeous flowers. Yeah. And then these like Grotesque, awful, sinister evil merged together, like Yeah. And I'm like, they I really like that. Like be, it's too. like beautiful grunge. Yeah. I don't know how else to describe it. Cause I feel like it's real bright colors uh, most of the time. Yeah. Really bright poppy. Uh, Chainsaw Man does it, but they do it in a different way. Um, I think their as opposed palette to... is just bright chainsaw mans. They have a brighter palette. Well, no, I was gonna say it's the level of detail. So it's like good mm. like I've seen the gun demon now. Okay. So I know what he looks like. Okay. <laughs> I know what it looks like. But I'm like when they when they have a demon for a thing, like yeah. Oh, how they merge rep- the Yeah, like how they merge the thing, the thing it is really sick. I got you. And I so you. I feel like this this show does the same thing of yeah. like you have these the ultimate male and female forms yeah. merged with these these plants. Like, yeah these aspects of nature and yeah. like this being this person was supposed to be based off of like peonies oh they're each a different flower that's kind of it cool. seemed like it because this they said the peony something and i was like that's oh right, i like they peonies did, yeah. I, yeah, I did, and his I hair was a flower the edges of his hair looks like peonies yeah, yeah. that's cool but yeah i i i like I, i'm so excited to see them all of them transform okay. it hypes me up like no other I like this. Um, and one thing, it's like the the mystery is still going somewhere for me because like one thing they said something very particular in this episode that got made like intrigued a lot. And they hope- it was it was they called them flower people, right? And uh-huh. then they made a distinction between humans and them. Uh huh. And I'm like, okay, this whole time I was thinking they were just humans that achieved immortality somehow, but now they almost feel like some weird like aspect of nature that's well because they 
they make the distinction in this episode of saying like the humans can't consume tan tan right the they said elixir, yeah. they were like if they if if a regular human consumes tan they'll turn into a tree person that's yeah. what the guy said yeah and then um which explains all the tree people that came back they either got stabbed by that little plant stinger that they shoot out <laughs> well i was gonna say crazy too. Are, should we assume now that the plant stinger is what makes the flower people that's what i'm like, thinking yeah. the bursting out of your eyes flowers because that scene i wasn't expecting that death for one but that that's how they the make you in, into well, tan, yeah. i didn't want to get there yet but okay, i was like yeah is that wait. is that what they stab you with and then I they throw so. you in the pit yeah then you, you just become, start like yeah. flower person it seems pretty blissful though pretty chill death i was gonna say before we jumped into that though i was yeah. gonna ask you like i like that we got our highlight on our 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 kunoichi our female oh yeah she's cool she can fight our female ninja yeah she can fight. and i look this is again ropes. this is again why i'm gonna say i hate Secretion. anime uh senta the her her assigned um uh, executioner Assign yeah his way of describing his attraction to her, I, f- I always forget her name because I can I only remember the main. But I was like, again, I was like, this is why, this is how I feel about, that's how I felt about our producer, Kay. I was yeah. like, I have a weird admiration for that person's freedom. Yeah. Their inner freedom. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, when they hit on that, I was, I just covered my face because I was oh just like, God. I was like, this is embarrassing. That's I'm like, this is that. like how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> some people because <laughs> oh she's just like she keeps going she's like your fault you are you in love with her like do you like and he's like no he's it's like she night. just she does everything that i wish i could do yeah. type of thing and i love i love i really love this week some characters <laughs> up until this point i really hated that character I like i thought all she is is trouble i thought she was a she's gonna get everybody killed Filthy yeah backstabber like yes oh, yeah. so i'm like he hit him seeing her in that in that viewpoint also like it made things closer to me because i'm like i've seen i've looked at people like that before yeah but yeah i also liked the characterization of that character of senta yeah. unfortunate that it had to happen this episode but yeah we got to again here's another character like didn't want to be don't want to be an executioner was really good at something else but i had to do this because this was my job and what my family like expected me to do yeah and so then we learned that yeah yeah he envies this criminal because she does what she wants to do yeah um she doesn't let it weigh her down She's all free. that kind of stuff yeah so he is standing up for the kunoichi in a way that sagarin is standing up for gabimaru mm-hmm. like that kind of like you're defending this person because you see them as a person yeah not, not as killing a criminal or whatever yeah or a criminal. yeah so For i really sure. appreciated that but now i can say yes i am with you that death upset me a that lot because i was like don't make me care about this person and then he gets stabbed by the heart the flowers yeah. and is now a crazy flower person yeah that's and because yeah Sag- sagari's face when she just like she's like oh shit he's dead now like yeah. <laughs> i was like oh because the way they did it, I like the way they handled it, where it's like he's fighting one second and then he just starts Ooh. thinking about the girl. And then he's like, wait, what was I doing? And then it just flashes back to reality and he's dead. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> That's how fast that stinger comes out. It's crazy. And it, yeah, it's like there's no question now why he jumped in front yeah. type of thing. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't know about her, her gross secretion. Her power is nasty. But whatever. Yeah, her power's, <laughs> uh, her whatever. Power's nasty. She just drinks something and starts seeping yeah. out of her skin. Yeah. <laughs> gross. And yeah, but but yeah, I just I laughed at the end of this week because I'm like, you guys survived by luck, luck and chivalry. Because yeah. I'm like, that blind dude showing up at the end is the only thing that saved them. They were he's, just he's low key the coldest samurai out of all of them. He's really the one. And can I just say, dude is we, blind. When we fucking cut these tens in down, and someone says run, you, fucking yeah, you gotta go. run. You gotta go. Stop. <laughs> I love how lackadaisical like, they are too. Because yeah, could, the Kunoichi was like, okay, we can go now. And then Sagarin's like, chilling, huh? Yeah. Like, and I was like, go, go, go. Go! I was like, they're regenerating. They're just regenerating. Yep. Just 
casually Ghost. too. They're always casually. Like they always regenerate smack talking. Like <laughs> that eye comes, comes back talking that crap, eye pops out <laughs> talking crap the whole time. <laughs> like, I love it. Their mouth I was dead. You lose no cut. <laughs> They'll cut this part of their, and their mouth will just be like, buh, 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 as it's, re yeah. Talking They're crap. smooth. They're they re smooth. They remind me a lot of, like, some of the demon interactions from Demon Slayer. Like, the way they fight, like, they're so yes. willing to just sacrifice body parts. Like, we know we're immortal. It doesn't matter. And then and also, I love like, the half head cutting off and the still talking crap type of thing, like. And when he was just gingerly like talking, and she's just like, "Cut your arms off! Cut yeah. your arms and off! Cut like... your legs off!" <laughs> he's just chilling, casual, just sliding. <laughs> but yeah, and so I like I did. Like, they act like plants. You know what I mean? And like yes, <laughs> they just float. Yeah, away. they do. <laughs> and I was gonna say this guy probably in his uh, chatty Kathy like nature, his his lackadaisical, lackadaisical nonchalant nature in which he was fighting yeah. gave us like pretty much the most information we've had mm -hmm. from a, a more central character because like we were we've been talking to the like the the kind of the natives yeah and these tree people but then like this guy just comes in and goes none of this is religious those yeah. people are stupid these are human experiments i like we're to toy human. with people yeah we're not human <laughs> you guys are idiots for being here there's never the eternal, a person that's the elixir doesn't exist yeah. <laughs> like this that, dude yeah. just came in like dashing hope it's just nonchalant and he's, while he's and then you. he's like he's like sitting and stepping on like these human these weird human puppets Flower, that he's yeah. created oh the yeah Kiyoshi. those were gross yeah the, when they attacked the first time they're like super fast and jittery like that and i creepy. think it's interesting that they're named kiyoshi when the Kyoshi warriors in Avatar, Avatar are like the strong fighting force. Yeah. Whereas these people are just like puppets. Yeah. They're just gross, fleshy puppets. Yeah. That are like, I don't know what do Kyoshi whatever. actually translates to. I don't either. Maybe probably like, but Earth just me, I was like, Kyoshi, like Kyoshi warriors. Kyoshi warriors yeah. Maybe it's <laughs> just a group anyway, or something. It could be. But yeah, I just, I liked this character as opposed to the other Tenzin that we've seen so far. Yeah, he was like more late, even though I think he's probably about to die next episode. Well, I was gonna say, well, I was gonna say that one scared one is probably gonna be the the Tenzin to look out for. The one that Gabimaru was fighting that didn't oh, really want to fight. Yeah, the yeah. one that was like, I don't really care about any of this. Yeah, but I've got to do my job or they beat me up. I also I wonder that. if the purple hair dude is also a Tenzin because he hasn't done like anything. the leader yeah of the, the guy the leader tenzin weird. guy yeah he was kind of like yeah. rude a little bit kind of like short attitude I, wise like I, he feels like to me he feels like uh the guy under muzan where mm. it's just like i don't it's i don't get involved man. until it's a fucking problem got you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like i'm gonna just keep yelling at the shit kids to yeah. do the shit kids until, until i actually so these you know people prove to be scary. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. say they do say like you're the first humans in a thousand years to make it this far or something like that. I think yeah. you said this episode. Okay. So we're dealing with the special class. Yeah. That's and all. and now I we I think we're full on. We know like the power dynamic. It's this Tao thing. Basically, the only way to kill the immortals is to attack their Tao. Like use yes. Tao to attack their Tao. Yeah. Um, it's basically clearly... like the the chi or the key or the the you know it's the the power. Yeah. And that's what she said. The Kunuichi was like, we call this key in our in my village. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, it's, tie it's, it back to it's, what we know. It's Nen. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's energy. It's human energy, whatever you want to call it. Living energy. It's Hamon. Yeah, chakra. Like, whatever. <laughs> and, you know. MacGuffin energy source. Yeah, essentially. But yeah, so uh, this show continues to progress and be bizarre. Yeah. Um, and dash other people's hopes, like the tree people who are like, I want to go to this holy place. Also, and it's like, oh, sorry. Oh, God. I thought you're sorry. I thought that was it. No, I was just going to say this holy something. place is just monsters experimenting yeah. on you. <laughs> it's the dangerous place you don't want to go to. Yeah. Um, but I was saying, shout out to the fact that Gabimaru is straight up just a firebender. Like, I thought he was going to have a bunch of different ninja powers, but no, he just throws fire. Acetic yeah. attack. He's just a firebender. I like it. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> we got a firebender, a slime bender. Ew. <laughs> we got a, we got a, a bunch vision of bender. Who's yeah. the vision bender? The blind the guy. The blind guy. <laughs> he can see the energy. Blind guys, blind people have no right to be as powerful as they are. That's what I was like. Yeah. If you're blind in sci-fi, you're magic. You're just a, you're just a superhero. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. be killing everything. That's funny. But yeah, um, mm. I 
if you don't mind, I did want to briefly move on. I am watching yeah. Golden Kamui. I'll probably get that fa- through that faster sooner than later. There's mm-hmm. just not a lot of strings to tie together yet. Um, but yeah, uh, I told Tiz in our t- in our quick break that I couldn't help myself but read ahead and have a lean delusion. Yeah. Um, the show is just uh, it's not going fast enough. Number one, and no, then number two, will. the dub slowing, the dub stopping made it impossible to have someone talk about it with. So I needed to just immerse myself in a way. They that... came back with two episodes. Did you watch them? Yeah. Where are you? Um, episode eleven. But what? What? Where oh. are you story wise? Um, because now you can't. You can't spoil me now. Ma- ma- what are the names? Ka- Kiriko. No, not Kiriko. Kiriko and Maru. No, no, no. Who is the girl from the nursery, from the the daycare? Tokyo. Tokyo. The blonde-haired girl? Tokyo just had her Tokyo. baby. Okay. And basically relearned. <laughs> so, okay, let's rewind for a second, because where we stopped last, I was warning you about said bun in the oven. Yes. How did that reveal make you feel? So now it's obvious that one of the babies is Maru, and one of them is the one where Maru was like, there's someone out there who looks hold exactly on. like me. What? You're going too fast. <laughs> they showed the babies. So first, next to each other. hold on. Yeah, but first there's the reveal that she was at all pregnant. She's like 14. These oh, kids yeah. are banging? Yeah. This is weird. That's what the that's what the director said. She was like, we, I didn't, know. Even, we didn't even have sex ed with them. We didn't like, teach them what that <laughs> was. How do they know how to do that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's the first weird part. <laughs> then yes, second word part, she actually is pregnant with twins yeah. and not just a singular baby. Which I didn't realize until I saw the two babies. No, nobody time. realized it until yeah. they showed the two babies. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was like that in the manga too. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so we have that. So then so then did you get to see the new class? The fifth years. Uh, there is a new a bunch of new little yeah, kids yeah, yeah, yeah. Entered. like the one with the glasses when she looked at her eyes she started having <laughs> visions and stuff the weirdos <laughs> yeah 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 okay was that was those kids entering not the scariest and like most menacing introduction of children <laughs> you've ever seen in an anime yeah they were that was terrible was like the way they introduced those kids was t- those kids look like a fucking freak show yeah they, they were a <laughs> bunch of rejects like, and it's like we just got used to these weirdos and now we have scary weirdos yeah our weirdos weren't that weird they were like no slight that's physical was- deformities like except for the one brain alien kid he was the the most weird one but the and rest that's were pretty I- normal that was too much for me. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was scary. That was like a scary reveal at the end of an episode. Welcome <laughs> it was to, weird. to the new class. Like we're um, replacing you. <laughs> yeah. Your time's so, up, kids. So, okay. So we had those kids. So then, yes. So then we get Oma. Oma is the one mm-hmm. who takes off the, the glasses, glasses and I guess makes Which I don't get what she's doing, but. she. I, guess, I think she makes people see their greatest fears so because- the- the 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 dog-eared girl and i'm gonna forget even though i know her name i'm gonna forget it now yeah I don't remember. she she says her fear is like sharp things needles and machines yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. that's what she sees yeah. when that girl takes her glasses 100 percent. but didn't so she also though mentioned seeing visions of things yes are so is are those separate things is it the girl the little girl's power that makes you see the fear no, or those her that visions? girl dog years was having visions way before separate those visions. other kids showed okay. up yes gotcha. she was seeing visions of the future period okay that's what i thought she okay. was seeing things that like we know maru and have kiriko have dealt with got you okay. yes that makes sense yes um but now that you've seen that I wanted you to say what you thought about your theory. Which theory? Think about what you told me. About. Oh, if you're well, if you're saying that we this is hard the the past, like the little kids of the past. Now I think it's even more true. Well, I was gonna say like when I when that happened with the when she took the glasses off and all those things came out. Yeah. All I could think about was, was what you said Her was that she. That, no, that she is the girl from the future. Oh, yeah, yeah. She We're, is the... And the that the silver-haired up. kid yeah. is the doctor. He's the only that's, silver-haired adult in the whole show. That's the only thing I could think. And then he's clutching her button. 
Oh yeah, I didn't remember. Even... He's holding that bird button when he shoots about himself that. in the yes, head. Yes, 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 yes. I forgot about that. Yeah, and yeah, we know the button now comes from the schools. And so, I, it, the schools. if you haven't seen it, you're coming up on a scene where she gives him that button. Okay. Okay. And so I'm so like, it solidifies. Shit. I was like, Tizzle's Let's right go. Now. It's like, how do you? It's, well, it's only two things. It's two things. It's so weird that they showed those two characters right after yeah. that scene where he kills himself. True, true. And literally, if you look at the whole show, he's the only adult with gray hair in the entire show. True, And that's true. the only kid with gray hair. But I, th- I think because of anime, I just go... It could be anything, yeah. And it then on top... But you're not wrong because it's like, where they're making a big point about uh, Kiriko... Kiriko's hair changing after the surgery too. Oh, the br- the the red because it, it's yeah. like my hair is red and not yeah. black now. Oh, and yeah. the on to the brain switching thing. Mm-hmm. So I think Robin, right, the black haired dude that she's looking for, and the doctor. Yes. I think they yes. obviously were involved with these institutes and in some like the doctor was probably a scientist for one of these people. Okay, um, but one thing that I I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed that the director. Like, it's mm-hmm. just the live forever body switching thing. I'm like, all right, guys. Okay, but. You're just making your next, you're just doing the Orochimaru. You're just grooming your next body to hop into. Like I'm so mad, though, because, yes, there's that. And that made me laugh because I'm like, yes, typical evil, like, yeah, headmaster. Like, like, I must live forever. Let me put my brain in a but, human body. But then, also, that really wasn't her plan because they didn't even know. Because remember, they kept saying, a child of our children they yeah. didn't they didn't like know that yeah like they i don't think they knew that those kids could make kids right so i think this is like a switch plan for her yeah but two based on your future conjecture, i made a conjecture what's up and you're <laughs> not there yet so i'm not gonna spoil it but i'm right about something else we said oh, about but you can't say it i can't <laughs> say it dang it, it. I just want you to keep that in mind. I was Something right about be said. between because we it was it had to do with us talking about the the school being the past and okay. Mario and Kiriko being the future. Okay, okay, okay. So I was right. There was something I was thinking about the kids, and I was right about the kids, and it has a lot to do with dog ears vision and what she sees. Okay. And I'm gonna just leave it at that because you're in the next couple episodes. You're swiftly gonna figure out what I'm talking. about. Okay, because okay. I think they just flat out say it at one point, and I'm just like, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> so, but yeah, this show is not going to keep us in the dark for much longer. I don't okay, think. That's if they're, like, if you feel like you're in the dark, you're not going to be in the dark for much longer. I now, do feel like I learned a lot. No, oh, sorry. The one thing also <laughs> that they introduce more dark. I'm like, what is this weird scene? You know, the very, very final scene they show? Oh, well, you, you well, probably watched this episode. I'll say, remind me. Yeah. It was basically like a dripping sound of like water and it was that robot the the weird oh mina yeah yeah it was her in like a big lab and yes. she was just sitting there and the camera's just zooming out and you hear this weird like fleshy dripping sound yes and I'm like was it the same was it the that? scene was it the scene where they were kind of showing me it seemed like they were powering her down yeah. Like she was powering down. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, how do, you, how do you just insert that at the end of an episode? What does that mean? What does Sorry, any, what does any of that mean? My headphones. Oh, no problem. <laughs> okay. Say what you just said. I was like, how do you just insert that at the end of an episode? Like, what does any of that mean? Like right after we're talking about the brain switching and they show the twins and then they show this weird scene of the robot chick in a so, weird laboratory. I'm going to just tell you everything I have all my revelations that i'm like holding in are show based they are not manga based okay so that's why i'm like you're this close yeah the next two episodes we'll have them for sure and like all i'm saying that to say is like based on what i know now like Mm -hmm. now all those questions all those questions we had are pretty much answered okay so i'm like my only question now is like one what caused the event that causes the world to go into apocalypse mode. And two, uh, where do we go now that we have all this information? What mm-hmm. happened? So I bet that's you kind it was the school's like cost. I'm I'm, one, I'm very curious. Some I'm experiment, curious. some human experimentation or something. I'm sure <laughs> caused caused everything. Something broke out. It it doesn't seem like 
it doesn't seem viral. It doesn't seem like there was like some mass infection type yeah. of thing. We just know that there were these monsters running around. Yeah. Like the the Hiriko were running around. And they probably so. had all types of weird effects on things. Yeah. Based on that, like we saw the frozen one or I saw the frozen one this past episode was just running around freezing everything. Yes, the baby. Yeah, the baby. And he, and he that, continues to raise it like a real baby. That was trippy because <laughs> yeah. it's like, yeah, she was like freaking out like when they were sleeping mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden that mist comes in i was like oh shit yeah. it was like dirt and then it was like she couldn't do it. it felt like she i thought she was gonna die i, I thought it was like legit over do you think the baby is just like like you know how the like basically just like one of the kids if they were to be born outside of a controlled environment well like, that's do you what think i'm wondering eaters are just they can turn back into humans i don't know because like <laughs> It, it to me I, like i was still stuck on remember that dude had that jar and he's like i'm gonna get this implanted inside me for powers yeah, and then yeah, it just yeah. dissolved yeah it just broke apart i'm st- i still have a million question marks around like that mm-hmm. and like yeah is the place they're heading to like a place where they experiment on like these things yeah because they're heading towards that building they saw or- the one of the centers so i'm like yeah i have a lot of questions around yeah. <laughs> i don't have any weird. thoughts because it's like he's just raising it like it's a kid <laughs> it's but that's what i'm like yeah is it like a thing where like if you're too close to this like creeping flesh do you yeah. become contaminated is it that like is there are there hybrids yeah. running around type yeah. of thing are they just naturally so, born now now that the cat's out of the bag are they like out in the world breeding <laughs> but once you get to uh the test episode where the kids start talking about the tests okay yeah that's when i want to have our real discussion okay. <laughs> For sure. but yeah i'm glad that they you were able to catch up to yeah, the just... baby because that was trippy that was trippy like, yeah for sure it's just kids and now one of them we're just gonna take her away and she's gonna give birth but we're not gonna really explain to her what happened why or, or how or why yeah. she had birth or what that yeah. means or and i think we haven't seen and poor kona week. kona's just like walking around like he's the drama right? feeling feelings yeah yeah yeah. Well, he he because he was that's what I was about to mention. He was best friends with the ET looking dude who yes. killed himself, and I don't yes. think we've seen the last of him. I think he killed himself to like ascend to the greater. Well, no, we know we haven't seen the last of him because Dog Ears and God damn it, I'm gonna learn her name. But yeah. Dog Ears saw yeah. Asura like Up just the... floating and was like, Ooh. I think I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but I think it became like a god when it killed. Itself. I think it's a boy. I think it's now like part of the universe. <laughs> but yeah she like god, sees seriously. she's like sees his corpse floating up there yeah. and no one else sees it so yeah. yeah i don't know what that's all about you know how psychic powers are you you don't die when your body dies that your psychic essence continues Bro, to inhabit the world i need you to watch one more episode and uh, then when you watch one more episode yeah. we will be having a completely different discussion <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, right now i'm right now i'm having i'm pretending i'm blind discussion yeah. wait t- one more episode and then we can really get into the like what is what is going on here i just can't imagine ever since the i want to be immortal so i'm gonna swap my brain thing that they're kind of surprised that is a that better be a, that is a switch. chip like like we didn't know what to do with yeah. this crazy like like seriously okay it, it doesn't matter I I've the, from the moment I saw that and like, because then that's around the time you notice the doctor and the the lady who just got appointed whose body she was originally gonna take or yeah. whose body she's gonna take before she goes yeah, to the baby. Yeah. They're trying to get these kids out of uh, this situation. Okay, do you remember that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, they're like okay. talking behind her back in the in the secret room. Yeah, because yeah, there's yeah. one. I there's one thing between the manga and the show that they do. They do it, but they do it out of order from mm. the manga. But anyway, so I'm like, they are. There's some like, hey, we don't really want anything bad to happen to innocent kids going on underneath of the head lady. So got you. Okay. I wonder if that play has anything to do with where we are in the future yeah okay yeah. okay so we'll see when you get your information boots on <laughs> <I got> you. <laughs> and you muck through that we'll see what you think then let's see let's see what they reveal to me yeah yeah let's start but yeah uh manga is pretty much it's just like my hero it's like it's panel for panel mm. like 
they're not changing. They're changing. They've changed the order of like one thing they've shown, but they're not changing anything as That's far good. as the story is concerned. That's always good for sure. And I love that we're drawing on the van. Huh? <laughs> we're the dude. Oh, the dude like, like spray painted on the van. Yeah, and he spelled his <laughs> name wrong. Yeah. And then, and did you see the part where I'm talking about where he goes like, "This is my car," standing on the roof. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mario's like, "What? Come on now! Yeah. Like we earned this car together." together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love that funny. they're doing little slice of life stuff like that. Oh yeah, I like that. And a lot though. of, a lot of, uh, not gender questioning, but I guess like sexuality questioning. I think <laughs> Mario just don't even care anymore. I think he just well, Mar- up, like Mario's like, like girl. look, I understand that you are a male inside but you look like he's a like girl, so i don't care <laughs> but he's like i <laughs> like you <laughs> and i'm attracted to females like he's yeah. he's fully apologetic about that yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's the other side of it i'm talking yeah. about like haru is or Kiriko. i forget his older but what was the boy's name haruki right oh kir the kir- boy is a combination in the girl's of body kiru and, like kiruko is a combination of the boy of the brother and sister's names yeah i just don't remember but which name was the brother <laughs> it's the it's the ru part because the sister okay. was kiriko okay okay so i think the brother's name i think it was haruki Haruk, Haru, yeah but like he that. is like he's becoming conflicted about maru yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Maru's stupid and a boy yeah. and dumb. And yeah. I get why he's being that. But it's 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 Haruki yeah, that he's is like, I like, don't know if I'm a boy or a girl. He's like, I think I like him. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't like that I like him. But am I still a boy now? Like, yeah. 100%. That part is tripping me out, too. No, it's funny. It's what so. I always say. It's funny because I always tell Katie this. If you have, like, two dude best friends... They love each other the same way a boy and a girl do. There's just no sexual attraction because they're a boy and a boy. But if you were to, in another life, introduce the same people, but one was a girl, they would be in love with each other. Like, See, I think that I thought that about my best friend. I was like, if she was a boy, would I yeah. be dating her? No. Yeah. But, and of but that's just some people's situation. relationships. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I had, I, had, I know love. what you're the, saying. The, 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 t- the love is the same. You know what I'm saying? Like you have the, you care about them the same as you would like your partner it's just their their yeah. bro you know what i'm saying like yeah that's just funny because I, I, I can't remember i don't think you've gotten there yet but there's one point where uh maru has to put a wig on yeah and then another yeah, yeah, character's yeah. like okay that's you saw that into the the woman's okay place. and then the 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 dread hair guy's like oh you're hot like yeah, you're yeah. kind of a hot chick and then kira goes like who's hotter me or yeah. him and i was like whoa where did that and then he's like oh you because you're actually a girl, a girl. and he's like she's like ha and i'm yeah. like you wouldn't want to win just this a, argument just a second ago you were probably like no but i'm not actually a girl or no when it was when when uh maru was like don't go around feeling up other people's girls yes and he was like but i'm not a girl <laughs> <laughs> but then he's like who's prettier yeah so funny so weird <laughs> it's still yeah maru actually was a really cute girl (laughs) (laughs) that wig was nuts crazy (laughs) it was crazy but yeah the that show is is a different kind of um it's a different kind of sci-fi that's all it's well written i think it's really well written it's very well good dialogue and probably has an end yeah (laughs) it's ongoing is listed on the manga site but it probably has an intent the show is going to replace Promise Neverland in my memory. <laughs> nothing will replace She's Promise gonna Neverland. It's going to fade away. Cuz nothing will replace <laughs> nothing will erase the scene of Ray on the ground like tell no telling oh. people I I I can remember everything oh, from like from birth. when I'm in the womb. <laughs> That's that- a real thing though broke me. That's yeah, I thing. know. <laughs> I know it is, but I'm like he was holding that to himself. For all these years, watching Emma and Norman be just normal, and he's yeah. just dark boy in it over there in the corner, so just reliving his birth. That's going ah, on. Demons, <laughs> <laughs> that bro, that will never oh like. That's God. the end of the show for me. It's just dark Ray. <laughs> dark Ray. <laughs> when Ray was like sitting in the library contemplating suicide, oh that was God. like the end of that Never Promise intense. Neverland. Jesus no, Christ. let me get through Shadow's House, and then Shadow's House will replace Promise Neverland in my mouth, my mind. Because Shadow's House was, premise? it's doing something weird and interesting. Oh. I just, I just can't get through all the like 
proper shenanigans. Yeah, the like yeah. Que- the like quest and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's doing sc- it was doing scary stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah. But yeah, glad um glad you can catch up on yeah, yeah. that. And I hope our audience is not sleeping on Heavenly Delusion. Tengoku Daimak Daimak. They need to stop putting an animated die on Hulu. Nothing on Hulu gets talked about the way it should. That's not true. Summer Chainsaw Time Man rendering. was on Hulu. Well, that was we talked from about the manga, it, but all these Hulu, we all the Hulu shows, like nobody talk, nobody like they don't get public renown like the Netflix anime do. Like, I guess because ads. I, I guess because I spend so much time on here hyping summertime rendering that. I have a hard time like going back now and being like, "Hey guys, if you didn't watch, go watch." But that show was amazing. But I have not heard one single person that I know watches anime that because people are is. sleeping on our podcast. All right, yeah, they're sleeping course. on. We are on the cutting edge, and people are sleeping the on bleeding us. Bleeding edge. Yes, nah, that's that's definitely also happening. 100%. That's fine though. I'm I'm afraid I I've been ahead of the curve my whole life, and it's that'll good. probably never change. It makes it easier for us to gatekeep. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> when we know about the shows first, it's so much easier to gatekeep. Yeah. No, I just love like when somebody thinks they, they have the new hotness. And, you and then already there. I just and then I just go, Oh yeah, because the character did this and then you go, bah, 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 you. Yeah. and I'm like, Oh yeah, that was cool. <laughs> you just you just got to that. Oh, you're just catching oh you're Good just on you. oh nice. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait for you to watch that whole thing through. When I watched that two years ago, man, that was yeah. so good. <laughs> it See, was so good I enjoy ago. being that person too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where I'm just like low key snob. No, same. Yeah. Same, same. Like, All oh right, yeah, cool. I can't wait till you get to the end. The end is great. I'm not gonna tell you though <laughs> when you get there. When I finished it and then I took up the novelization, <laughs> the biggest thing that I learned was three years ago. No, yeah. You're yeah. late ass. It's toxic, but, anyway. but I admit to it. <laughs> so yeah. Um we will probably be covering summer anime soon. It is. I see some things. Juju's starting to get louder and louder. Yeah, um, so we back. know that's coming back. Um, but yeah, we'll do. I haven't had time to do a deep dive games. I've been playing more games and watching more movies until my eyes bleed. <laughs> so in praying for my ocular sanity, if there's anything that we miss, uh, movies, TVs, games, what else do we do? If there was a if there was a hype manga comic books. if there if there was a hype fight in the music industry that we missed over the yeah. weekend, it can be even physical though I, or not. Or I will phys- I will always argue that any type of music trolling is to sell CDs because nobody oh, listens probably. to music anymore. Um, ever since COVID, COVID kind of killed it. Honestly, but yeah, if we missed anything at all in the pop culture universe, you know where to email us sibling rivalry clash all one word sibling rivalry clash at gmail.com or you can take this super shortcut and tweet at us at sr clash underscore pod um and yeah you know where to find us if twitter starts to suck anymore i'm gonna have to get on reddit and i don't want to get on reddit (laughs) are we on amazon music yeah we should be all right then check us out on there wherever you listen don't be afraid to rate I hope to be back on our weekly schedule. I just get so damn tired. It'd be like that. <sighs> but yeah, y'all, there's a lot to watch and do out there, and we should all be sharing it with each other. Can't wait. Get Tiz caught up on that anime that he refuses to read because it's amazing. Me? Yes. You still haven't watched Farmland Saga. I want to hear it. It's so good. <laughs> it is. This is far. Is it so. over? Is it done? It's like one more episode. Okay. When I fin- when it finishes, I'll probably just zip through it's it. Definitely. I think saga, I'm in a little bit of a fight with Netflix right now, so I've been boycotting Netflix in general. And the but ads. I can watch it in other places. No, oh. just just hating Netflix for the password shenanigans. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Netflix is doing a lot of weird stuff because it's uh, I'm like every time like as much as i fight to log in there and then i shit to watch yeah it's nothing so, like <laughs> ain't no new yeah. castlevania season just based on what you've been saying i've been wanting to catch up it's hard i'm not gonna just anime. drop it but yeah that <laughs> <laughs> don't, 
<laughs> it's so is different just, from the first. Is he gonna bring his neighbor an egg every day and pray there? Friend. Put it like this: the events are so, like, the course of events are so different from the first season, but the tone and the drama is the exact same. This is the exact same. The, the weight and the the weight of the characters' expressions is the exact same. I'll get there. It's much like I'm getting to all these old dramas that were like, like, I was joking this past weekend with our family. Like, we had cousins come in. All y'all watch the Blacklist? Blacklist? Y'all watch? Is anyone watch Blacklist? Blacklist? Black? And I'm like, I've Show heard of the Blacklist. So apparently now I'm going to watch The Blacklist because yeah. I'm just like, if y'all felt the need to bring it up this much over the course of two days, <laughs> Must I think something. I'll check it out for a little bit. Yeah. Good old word. But yeah, about. I started watching this other show called 911. <laughs> the I first... know about that show, yeah. See, and I said they didn't send, like, I told our mother, I said, you don't sell things to me right. I was like, if you had told me in the first episode of uh, the lady pooped a baby out and it got stuck in the pipe in some dude's wall... And they go into his apartment, he's like smoking his bong and they think he's crazy. Yeah. But he's like, no, there's a baby crying in my wall. <laughs> and they cut the baby out of the wall? I would have watched it a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> but nobody told me that. That's hilarious. And then the, like the third episode, one of the main characters takes a rebar through the brain. He's like, he gets mad. So he goes out on a joyride in his little Subaru. Yeah. And then he has to slam on the brakes and the truck behind him slams oh on the brakes God. and all those rebar comes That's shooting through his back windshield. That's just thousand ways to die. <laughs> that should crazy. never happen. And then he's sitting there going, am I okay? Why are you guys looking at me like yeah, that? Am I okay? Christ. And they're sitting there going, how is he talking? <laughs> they caught that split right in between the brain lobes. That blank <laughs> spot right in between. He got lucky. Yeah, the, the Phineas Gage yeah, spot, got lucky. As, as I like to call it. Yeah, yeah. His right but and his yeah, left so, are just a little separated, but that's all. He'll live. I can be tricked into watching anything. You guys just have to sell it to me, right? That's how I'm putting it out into, there. All right, I can a, be tricked. I'm going to repackage One Piece for you. Speaking of, I'm putting my best down. This is going to be 10 times worse than Cowboy Bebop. And the budget what? is higher than Game of Thrones. Oh, the live action? Did yeah. you watch the trailer? Yes. I, I watched yeah, oh the trailer. Oh, my God. Yo, the only- Got move uh, on me, you know? Punch! All I'll say is Nami actually feels Stop. like Nami. No, she doesn't. <laughs> no, she doesn't. We're not a crew, her and oh Zoro. Oh, God. They picked the worst, <laughs> like, valley girl. This actor. is the most. Like, this feels. Orange wig. Do you know what this feels like? This feels like when you go to a theme park. Yeah. And they have the, like, live stadium show of the <laughs> thing you like. Yeah. Like, we used to go, we used to go see, like, the Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the characters, like, the humans are so far away from you, you're not, like, you're not, you're you not can't get close enough to hard. criticize them. Yeah. So you're just like, yeah, they look like the guy I like, and they do the things of the... But this is like that, but you're too you're, close. You are close. Yeah, you are close. <laughs> you're like, no, no zoom out, yeah, zoom, zoom out. all the way out. Jesus but I Christ. did like that they, I did like that they went, you know, they got the big, goofy-looking boats. Yeah, and, like, they the had props this, are good. The backdrops they had the are good. They had the Barati pirate yeah, sign. The sets are all good. Don't get me wrong. It's just give the... it, give it a shot. Gomu gomu doll punch. That was the <laughs> corniest scene in CG I've ever seen you in my sound, life. You sound just like Mark from oh RDC God. World when you. T- <laughs> <laughs> that's how they you sound. sound like his gomu gomu. That's no that that's what this feels like a freaking a, a skit. This feels I, like a cosplay guys, skit. I still, I still to this day champion the live action bleed. They said I the really budget liked it. is higher than Game of Thrones for this live action One Piece and Mandalorian per episode. More expensive than those two shows. I believe it, and it's, it's gonna all, be. I bet it, a I bet thousand it's all times set. worse. It's probably all set. Pieces. Oh yeah, and props. It's gonna be a thousand times worse. This is gonna. This is gonna it's be hard. It's gonna get a whole new generation of children into One Piece for the wrong reasons. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? No, it's gonna it's gonna do Don't yeah, you it's love gonna it? scare people away from One Piece. People Don't are gonna be like, One it? Piece sucks. I'm like, what are you talking about? They're gonna be like, Yeah, that Netflix thing, isn't that One Piece? I'm like, No, that's not One Piece. Well, did Death Note destroy Death Note? I think there's probably a lot of Gen Zers that have never <laughs> seen Death Note and never will because, because of that movie. <laughs> because I bet you probably a whole generation we Mackenzie oh got God. lucky she was she was just old enough to see death note before that movie came out but everyone after her like landage generation we're gonna have to over. put together a guide 
of what anime. live actions to skip. No, 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 no. We're <laughs> gonna, we're we're gonna have to put together a guide to say like if you're gonna ever watch any anime properties ever, these whether the they be live action or not. No, start here. Oh. Watch these animated original things first. Yeah. Then go to these weird Explore. things that are referencing the things. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, that they yeah, yeah. know that this is not the original thing. Yeah. This was not the original idea. I don't even know if the creator himself greenlit this. Like, <laughs> so it's like it's gonna be like watch the first arc of One Piece, watch this arc of Naruto, watch this yeah. arc of Dragon Ball. Like we're gonna have to oh make a God. guide. I promise you. This is gonna be like a tier below uh, Dragon Ball Evolution. Anime is becoming that. It's the same thing. Like when we went back and played the retro games, and we're like, none of these games have tutorials. Yeah. Well, it just wasn't like that then. <laughs> but they, they also only had three buttons. <laughs> in most cases. But look, man, those three <laughs> buttons in combination with a lot of shit that I don't understand how to do. Okay? So I need the direction. <laughs> like, nobody remembers that GBA had not, like, didn't have X and Y. It only had A and B. Yeah. And up, down, left, right. And that was it. Yeah. <laughs> that was super the Triggers. Yeah. <laughs> the hardest thing I to remember. figure out were the fighting games because they had like weird combinations, but everything but else. But see, then just... Se- but Sega's got like two extra buttons that no other the fucking Sega's, controller has. Sega's so annoying. that's playing a Sega game is really confusing. Yeah. You're like A, B, and C. What the hell is C? And that's exactly why Sega's what dead. Trying their best to survive off of Sonic movies, being run by video the video games, <laughs> being run and owned by the Yakuza. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Sega's right. where they are and where Nintendo is where they are because they put them two extra buttons on there for no reason. All right, let's stop bullshitting. I know we all both right. need to eat. Yeah. I'm starving. I need a nap. But all right, y'all know where to find us. We already did the socials. We will see y'all next week. Peace.